Hey guys and welcome back. If you're looking to jump into a game, go ahead and head on over to Night City Overdrive. They got a lot of friendly people and they're always looking for GMs and players. If you want to know more about the lore or about how to play the game, go to Cyberpunk Uncensored. It's a great resource to, you know, pick your brain with. And if you're trying to catch a game live, check out uh, DM Chuggy's uh, Twitch channel. Uh, it's what every Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, there's a live game going on. We'd really appreciate it if you watched it. All right. Um, all the all the links are in the description below. Okay, so why are we here? Because I heard on the streets that an aristocrat got snubbed by a couple fixers. And there's always eddies to be made whenever there's a rich person and a bruised egos. So I'm gonna head over to the Babylon, catch a drink, and see if I can suss out a job. All right, see you there. Um, okay, so we begin in Babylon. Um, I'm gonna copy paste you guys, and then you can all tell me who you are, uh, what you look like, and what you're up to. Um, okay, here we'll do. Uh, so, as I drag the ribbon over, who would like to go first? Now let's go with, uh, let's go with the big boy, the red boy up there. Um, okay. Uh, this dude is, uh, more robot Donkey Kong than man at this point. He is, like, uh, he's pushing eight feet tall, he's bored out to shit, cyber legs, uh, implanted linear frame. Big, big honking hands. Um, he's got uh, an assault rifle, technically, but it looks like a toy uh, when he holds it. Um, uh, yeah, and, and just, wearing... just to add to the effect, it's like a bullpup. It's one of the smaller ones. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's the extra short one. <laughs> um, I love that. Uh, he's got um, uh like these light tattoos all over his back that all seem to be uh, like comic book themed. Uh, he's really into Batman. Um, but uh, like other than that, he's just always right in somebody's personal space. Uh, he's, he's a very <laughs> imposing sort. Um, okay. And I think on, on all sides, especially at Babylon, where he's kind of like set down right now, he's flanked by these like, um, crazy little dudes in uh, what would appear like kind of amounts to like biker armor uh, that just worship him uh, like the sycophants they are really juicing up his ego um, but that's the red boy okay who would like to go next A lady never tells. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, I'll uh, take it on next then. Get over. Who, who would like to go next? I'll take that then. So I cast if you hang around at the Babylon at any reasonable amount of time as a man you've seen in about 50 different looks at this stage. He tends to stroll in, burn some time, and then get rushed off out after swearing profusely at his agent. Let's see, today he's going to rock um, a nice urban flash look with an open shirt with no actual anything underneath it, so exposing all the chest. Actually quite minimal in the ways of cyberware. He's got no obvious cyber ogs. Doesn't he have, like, cyber eyes? Oh, yeah, but, you know, not obvious, obvious. Okay. That's what the shades are for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he tends to keep that shades on and whatnot for that exact reason, though I guess if you ever catch a sight of it, yeah, he clearly has both eyes being completely cybered. <laughs> Unlike the other two particular giants, he's actually quite a young and very small, quite slim built guy. He's maybe only about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, he's not particularly physically imposing in the slightest. But he does carry himself a, a certain amount of character, like very little seems to crack his facade and they can definitely handle most situations keeping a pretty straight face on. 
And since I got cyber hair tonight, he's going to have. Let's go for deep purple hair. Okay. Who's next? Uh, I can. Uh, yeah. Uh, Katya is at the bar. She's drinking something very colorful and <laughs> unnecessary, completely unnecessary. Uh, she is, uh, she's very small, uh, maybe just coming up to five feet. And uh, she is Native American, um, and she's got kind of a just a coppery, coppery skin and uh, big, bright blue eyes. Uh, she is kind of rocking uh, crazy, all different, you know, rainbow colored, long, curly hair on one side. One side's shaved. And uh, she's, she's very uh, blinged out with uh, light tattoos. She's got uh, feathers, like kind of Native American uh, feather work going down uh, shoulders to her wrists. And uh, she, excuse me, tends to dress very flashy, <laughs> kind of an Asia pop Harajuku style look. Uh, she has tonight. Um, she's got a black and red fishnet bodysuit uh, that's very fitted with kind of like a floaty, transparent black dress covering that. And uh, she likes. Uh, she's got some really old, battered, crappy uh, leather thigh boots that she has badly spray painted chrome by herself. And uh, no real apparent cyberware or anything like that, except for uh, for for one arm that's just very old fashioned, traditional, uh, just traditional metals. And she's a uh, very very bright, very cheerful. She likes to uh, p play the uh, innocent, bubbly act, but she's she's paying very close attention to what's going on around her. Okay, and finally, Big Boot. All right. Uh, Boot, while not as big as Red Boy, is still pretty big, around two meters, or six foot five, using the inferior matrix. It's pretty <laughs> clear he chews in chews porridge and milk. Uh, he got some something underneath, something some cyberware. He looks pretty rugged, but... He's usually, like, if you see his face, he's smiling. If he's talking, he usually sounds pretty upbeat. And he's wearing a uh, leather trench coat with some uh, combat bands, combat boots, and a black bandana and some, that have mostly black, but they have some red accents. And, of course, his mirror shades. Okay, and what's he doing? He is drinking a whiskey cola. Okay, um, hang on a sec, I just need to uh, locate something, um, uh, uh, wait, uh, Red Boy, where are you on the map? Uh, I'm just above the bar there, um, at the big booth. Um, hang on, I can see, are you, are you near, uh, Bubbles or Monaco? Uh, nope, I'm um, just a little bit further up than that. Oh, you know, I'll move down with the party. I totally forgot um, the eyesight stuff. I'm going to be between yeah. Cat and Cass. Okay, so um, Red Boy, uh, one of uh, someone uh, is going to approach you. Uh, uh, Mr. Red Boy. Uh, I'm. <laughs> Do a line of synth coke off the bar, and then I turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was all mate. <laughs> right. Um, so, uh, Miss Dorothy, uh, Miss Dorothy would like a, a word if you could uh, find a few friends and uh, make your way over to the confessional. <laughs> um, he'll look around at the bar. She'll be pleased um, to see you. <laughs> and then he leaves. Put a hand on cat. Put a hand on cats. Oh, uh, and be like, oh, friends, I think we'll both make some money. Just look at his hand. It's like the same size as my torso. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he doesn't know uh, much about boundaries. <laughs> he's gonna kind of like uh, uh, he's gonna beckon across the bar. Um, uh, Towards a uh, dice and big boot, um, thinking that they look pretty, uh, you know, pretty sturdy. Uh, he'll also beckon towards the uh, the stock nomad here, but I don't think she ain't gonna listen. Yeah, uh, she she just kind of um, uh, looks at you and then takes out her agent, checks it, and then runs. 
<laughs> wise. Uh, and yeah, and then I'll uh, um, I'll, I'll dip and I'll, I'll follow follow homeboy's lead to the confessional. Okay. Okay, Kat, Kat will go along with that. She's uh, she's excited, and uh, sure, I can get behind that. She uh, just kind of skips along happily behind. So, uh, so in Babylon, the confessional is kind of a, a private area where you know important uh, deals are negotiated. Um, so if you guys want to uh, move yourselves over there, you'll have uh, okay. plenty of peace and quiet to negotiate this job. One. <laughs> Watch the movie and the show. Robbie Persuasion. <laughs> Stay away from that author's other stuff. It gets weird. <laughs> yeah, uh, she, she just kind of smiles politely. Um, but that, that's all you're going to get out of her. <laughs> okay. Is the new money just going to hang out over in the uh, <laughs> over in the bar still? Yeah, new money. Uh, it's, when we're hanging around Babylon, he generally takes that as a time off because uh, we generally yeah. swing by when basically there's gaps between meetings or casting. Yeah. Back off. Okay, so um, as uh, Dorothy kind of addresses you, she, uh, she uh, you know, tall older woman um, who's who's got you know a, a chromed up pipe. That she she lights is oh um hello there everybody. So I I have um a bit of a job that I need I need someone to to help me deal with. And no takers. <laughs> well, we're here, aren't we? I mean, I thought that. Okay, was yeah. Good. So um, I I have been uh, screwed over by some some friends. Um. The, these two fixers, their husband and wife, um, Carlos Montoya and Marion Xi, uh, or Zeal, whatever it is, um, they they run a um, a midnight market that's in three days, and this time they have decided not to invite me. Coincidentally, this is the exact midnight market where a a thing, a prototype device called the Amiss FX is going to be sold. Now, this device um, alters the behaviors of rogue AI to make them more compliant. And Netwatch would pay a lot of money for it. And I want to be the one to sell it to them. Uh, well, love, you said the right word. You said money. <laughs> so... Pull me at the problem, uh, and I will fucking destroy it. No, no, right, I need, I need this, uh, this device retrieved, undamaged. Um, however, I don't need everything undamaged. In fact, I'll, I'll double your pay if uh, these two lying, cheating assholes haven't be damaged beyond, uh, yeah, damaged beyond repair. Um, <laughs> Red Boy's got a like gigantic shark face grin, and he's he's nodding. Yeah, uh, he's the way out to me. Uh, yeah, uh, Dorothy, Miss Dorothy just kind of smirks and takes a drawer of her pipe as you do that. Um, it's it's about yeah. the size of um. Uh, it's about the size of an agent. Ah, okay. Sounds good to me, brothers. Mm -hmm. But, Mr. Orville, allow me to make a better suggestion. Straight up murder's always so boring, why not completely ruin their night market, ruin their reputation, and then if you really haven't had enough from watching them crumble, then put a few bullets into them. It's much more fun that way. She perks up at that. <laughs> Go on. Well, now a fixer's reputation is part of pretty much everything. So what <laughs> happens if not only does the night market's biggest item go missing, other supplies go wrong, deals get cut badly, uh, information maybe starts to leak depending on what we can find. 
it sounds like a much more satisfying employee than just, you know, giving them these away out. Hmm, yes, that, uh, I, I'd be happy with that. Uh, yeah. I'd like to know uh, that as well. I'm... I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I can't imagine what... I, we, we're, we were such good friends, I don't know why they did that to me. You know what I think, Dolphy? I think it's jealousy. Yeah, it must be. It must be. <laughs> oh, well, uh, listen, Mom. We'll take care of this for you. Uh, Thank you very much. It will be, I, I should have said, it will be 2,000 euro dollars per person for uh, return of the Miss Effects. Double pay if you manage to completely ruin or kill um, these two uh, uh, assholes. I'm in love. <laughs> I assume actually both would know dice somewhat because we've done a lot of deals. All day, they aren't just running night markets, they're running midnight markets. These guys are uh, the top of their game. Well, I'm counting on you, brother. There are other ways in than blasting our way in, boys. If you uh, if you need an an, an invitation to their uh, night market, I have friends who can arrange that. That would interest me. So, uh, by the way, guess who just realized he's been talking on mute? <laughs> Hi. <Good job. laughs> well done. Yeah, I, I actually yeah. What, what you've been saying was really insightful and profound, and it's really changed my life. <laughs> it has. It's the most sense I've made in years. I'll never be able to keep that stunned. <laughs> but thankfully, you ended up in the same scenario I was with anyway. Whilst talking to myself, I was saying how a midnight market has a defined location, which means supplies have to be brought in, which means things have to be stored nearby, mm -hmm. which means we will have so much potential if we can just get the details, maybe get ourselves an invite in, maybe find out who's going to be attending and see some local chaos as well. Yeah, so she, she gives you guys the address. It seems that uh, uh, Carlos and Marion hold the, the night market in their apartment, uh, which is like uh, a luxury penthouse in, uh, uh, in Little Europe, which is where Babylon is. Um, and uh, actually, um, she can give you guys maps if you want them. Always hand it. Yes, please. Okay, we'll start with um, this one. Okay, edit, and I need to give you guys permission. Okay, actually, this is very easy because I just need to click all players. Okay, and then find the save button. <laughs> okay, that's the map of the lower floor. Um, and now the upper floor. Is she sending these all to your, your agents? Okay. Ooh, very colorful. Ooh, I like this. So the, the night market is in three days. Um, I do know some people who are running supplies if you need uh, contacts. Any end would be a good end, especially if we're looking to um, exacerbate some tensions whilst we're there. Okay. Um, she gives you the name of um, Michael Cho. Okay. 
Um, and he's like uh, her contact there. Uh, he is one of the fixers who supplies the night market. Um, yep, yeah, you can go ahead. So uh, you, you, you ring him up. Uh, hi there, this is, this is Michael. Uh, I don't know you. Uh, are you, um, are, uh, do we, do we know each other? <laughs> How much luck do you want to give me that you actually have? Right, yeah, actually, I'll just say it's one luck. You, you guys did work on a, a deal. Um, actually, you know what? He was the guy who got you the vampires that you sold to Katya. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, dice. Oh, yeah. Um, right. Uh, what is it? A uh, mid midnight market. I'm, you know me. I, I'm, I'm nowhere near that. That that big uh is this the i mean yeah i guess there's a night market at um Mantire and z's um uh thing but i mean i've never been there I, i've I, I only i only you know supply weapons for it oh to the to the i can get you into the night market uh midnight market i think is just like on the floor above um, but, uh, you know, you don't want to be messing with security. Um, I, I hear they're ramping it up, uh, for this next one. Ah, oh, beats me. We've, we've just been told that there's like an extra checkpoint we have to go through. And I... Yeah, I'll, I'll get you guys invited. Um... But uh, it's, uh, you know, doing all this just under the table stuff, it's going to be, uh, you know, I don't want to get on the wrong side. I need some, uh, a little uh, incentive, I think. Well, yeah, I, I was thinking something more uh, concrete. Just give the man his concrete. Um, <laughs> concrete boots, maybe. Uh, Two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> um, let, let's do opposed trading checks. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Jesus! Um, Six eight. Yeah. Oh, that's a trade. Yeah. Um. Six eight. Man knows how to trade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you you can you uh yeah you you don't just talk him down to two hundred. You talk him down to one fifty. Nice. How about two hundred? No, I have a card offer of one fifty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he tricked him. He did like the whole duck season, rabbit season on him. Yeah. He's like, wait a minute. Yeah. I just undercut myself. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, he'll uh, he'll get you invites. Um and is is there anything else that you'll be needing, uh, dice? I'm I'm just throwing out a suggestion that maybe he could maybe help us get some um, items for sale on that night market as well. No guarantee of it yet, but I just think there might be some potential there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So uh, what are you thinking? Yeah, sure. Yeah. 
I, always great doing business with you. <laughs> <laughs> you do. And he hangs up. A little bit of flirting gets you everywhere. All right. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, you can do that in the the shop. <laughs> I don't want it, man. You got to spend money to make money, and I've got some ideas to make some money. <laughs> what are you thinking? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, well, like I typed in the roll twenty chat, but I'll just reiterate it here. Oh, um, sorry, I hadn't seen no, that. No, no, don't worry. I understand. Don't worry about that, man. It was just an an idea silently while you were handling the uh, handling that situation anyway. So what we could do is we could get some as to use the red boy terms, really hot items, like mess up when there are gang leaders, rob their car, their favourite bike, their favourite gun or something, then have it turn up at the night market, but also have it be pretty well known that that's going to be at that night market. That's pretty scandalous and will provoke some chaos in its own right. At the same time, using some of my corporate connections, we could see if we know of any rival companies that might be doing some shipping or putting some valuable items. Okay, in um... All sorts of things basically to draw negative attention and some drama to that night market, thus trashing them. Okay. Um, so are they, uh, one of the, um, they, they seem to have a bit of a, a difficult relationship with a, a group of nomads mm -hmm. called the Greyhounds uh, that they've oh, used yeah. for supplies in the past. Um, but they, they seem to... Uh, this time you're uh, you're able to, you guys are able to find out because you have connections to them. They yeah, were not they yeah. were not uh, contacted for this round's uh, night market. Right. Um, maybe one step further. Maybe this is the dangerous and this is the risky part, so feel free to shut down this idea. We'll like jack some supplies from one of their cars or one of their caravans and have that be one of the items in the night market. Not only did he then not use them, but he's then selling their wares, which would of course be why he didn't use them this time. Yeah. It's Yeah, that's collateral damage. Well, we won't do it to your friend, but we could, if we can get it in, we can slip it into somebody's stall, yeah? I don't have a... Yeah, just not... Listen, just not making it. Okay, so you damage. guys can, can meet up with some of the Greyhounds at, like, a bar in Rancho Coronado. They, they don't have agents, so it's kind of difficult to find them, and it'll take you about a day. Okay, okay. Okay, um... um during oh, 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 oh. is there any way that i can uh sorry to interrupt uh, i can leverage my valentino contacts to help expedite that process um yeah so you've got how much juice is it with uh, the valentinos uh i i can't tell you like a, a hard number but i know yeah. very early on red boy made friends uh, yeah it's like right at the top level. of the logging sheet um yeah you can you can get it to you know it's probably uh, morning, you 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 can you can find out where they are by the evening. All right, I'm into that. Rather than taking a full day, yeah, totally. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll make some calls and. Okay. Uh, and we have some connections too with the greyhounds themselves. Uh, I think that might hopefully. How would we get a hold of them then? Would it be like radio radio uh, scanners th this, or this is, this is what uh, this is what Red Boy is doing is is uh, kind of finding out where yeah. kind of some of the guys are hanging out. So that Perfect. you can talk to them. That sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't have a map for this, so we'll, we'll just do it uh, theater of the mind. Yeah. So you guys uh, rock up to this uh, this bar, the um, uh, the uh, uh, El Pollo Negro. Um, can I interrupt just for a quick second? Yeah. Just because this one's got a time scale sort of affair on it, then. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I'll do after our meeting and main thing in Babylon. Yeah. Was the uh, competitor shipping idea. So that gives basically my 
corp or whatever or background time to hopefully get me some useful information and that means that okay. we, can, we can tie these two up in like the same day if we get lucky so so uh so you're looking for like uh competitors of them so what skill do you want to use i don't know say uh, our corporate competitors you know because you always keep an eye on your competition yeah so i was going to find out if our competition's got any big moves or big shipments coming through so that we could have that get jacked into um, the market and then casually let that information slip. What skill do you want to use? Let's have a look and see. I guess it would be business or bureaucracy to handle the internals because it's not me doing it personally. It's me saying to the business, hey, get me this info. Yeah, I would say business. Okay. Not a bad roll. Okay, so with uh, with that roll, um, yeah, yeah uh, one of your... Uh, one of your competitors has a uh, a shipment coming through um, of supplies that's being brought by a, a group of nomads um, called uh, oh god what are they called um, uh, give me a second um, the uh, they're they're called the the three musketeers. They're like a a, a nomad poser gang hybrid, <laughs> uh, themed oh. around you know, eighteenth uh, century, ninth century tales of adventure. <laughs> um, and so yeah, they they uh they're bringing some some supplies. Um, for what's the name of this rival company? Um, quick, someday throw me a biotech sounding name. No, <laughs> no, we're not that big. That's, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think more med scale, buddy. I, I don't want to get totally ruined. <laughs> yeah. Um, Infi Life. Infi Life. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I like okay. That, so yeah, they they they're doing a shipment for Infi Life. Um. Yeah, these I've decided these guys are sea nomads, so they'll be you know out of the port. Hey, Red Boy, um, do you think your boys could handle a snatch and grab whilst we take care of this other part? Oh, well, I'd say it's our specialty, mate. <laughs> Fantastic. If we okay. Get um, and have it shipped straight off. We'll be golden. Yeah. <laughs> so, what what instructions are you giving your boys? Um, yeah, basically I, I want to have them, uh, on standby. So I'm not exactly sure what our play is. Um, yeah. So you can just have them like case, case the joint around the port to kind of find the ship. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think that's, that, that's a good one. Have them just get eyes on it and uh, report yeah. back. So, uh, what skill do you want to use for this? <sighs> um, they, uh, they have their own set of like, um, yeah, but you're, you're the one, uh, commanding them and this, this isn't really combat. Oh, perfect. Uh, then I will say, um, let, me, let me look here. If it uh, could I'm, I'm trying to have them change the joint. Uh, I guess uh, if you're amenable to the idea, I could go like, um, not really uh, like persuasion to kind of like <laughs> get them like, no, 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 no don't kill anyone yet. <laughs> and kind of just like talk them through the process. <laughs> yeah. Of, um, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fine with that. Okay, <laughs> let's see how we do. Uh, it's a fifteen. Uh, give me one luck. Uh, you got it. <laughs> one luck to have them not go insane at the dock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, all right, boss. Right on it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys, you guys head down to this, uh, this bar, uh, El Pollo Negro. Um. And you you meet up with uh, Jeffrey and a few of the um, of the the Greyhounds. Oh, Big Boat, Katia, great to see you guys. Hey, what's good, brother? Yeah, How you been? It's good, good to see you as well. Yeah, just I uh, got back from across the country. Um, yeah, we uh, we did manage to find some places for those uh, those people you gave us. Oh, excellent! Where did they end up? Uh, I think they're working at like some. Biochem company on the East Coast. Um, okay, okay. Better than where they started. Yeah, so... Um, Thank you for that. What is it that... Uh, what is it that brings you guys here? Uh, 
Well, <laughs> silence. Yeah. <laughs> Kai, you kind of looks between them. <laughs> well, we have a sting operation, you could say. You could bit. say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's I, some... I don't know how we get over that. We're, we're truckers. We're not really stealthy. Yeah. But I think our friends here can explain it better. Dump is in it. I love it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, maybe we'll somebody can um, out, out of character sum it up for me. So we're ripping, uh, we're ripping yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah. the competitor right. here uh, of something uh, distinct and valuable of theirs to end up at this night market, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the plan. Yes. Before. What do we, we need, need to... to quickly talk our way around this one? Because basically, what we need to do right now is um, yeah. have these guys here long enough to distract them or work out something that we could steal from them, either here or from out in their trucks or their vans. Okay, okay. That could turn up at that night market. Wait, these guys? Listen, but these we'll, get it back. we'll get it back to them, okay? Or we'll make no, sure I thought they we get were it back. Stealing it from the Three musketeers, not the no, no, no. We're, we're also doing that because then the fixers then will have corporate pressure and nomad pressure. Otherwise known as it's going oh. to be a complete shit show. <laughs> <laughs> because if you want to really trash their reputation, what better way than having multiple groups show up pissed off at a night market? Who's going to yeah, attend the night market? Mean- I'm still a little skeptical about the motivations behind all of this, too. I mean, because I, I hard hardly. So how 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 do, you, how do you pitch this to the Greyhounds? Yeah. I don't know. They were last time they were pretty open when we just talk about them, talk it to them. Yeah, Maybe with I, a little I, cash. See, I was hoping to leave back. you guys for this one actually, since you had the back room. With them. Yeah, I think uh, we I'm gonna just, like, play it straight. Yeah. Well, it's like um. It's going to be a night market, brother. And yeah. we're going to... You're going to what? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just um, maybe pitch it to them that, you know, don't snub you guys again. Otherwise, things can Look, we, we lost a contract fair and square. We're, uh, we've been running a bit short. We're trying to replace a, a truck that uh, broke down in the Sierras. Um, I mean, we're not happy to lose the contract, but it, it's business. Hey, no, but still, they're assholes. You know what I'm saying, brother? <laughs> if you can get us Make me a like... persuasion roll. Oh, God. <laughs> Could I provide an assist on this one? Uh, you are free to do so. I, I, I could as well. I'll talk them yeah. up and basically say, it is just business, however, even in the executive yeah. world, we make and, sure and that we keep good company and don't just chop a contract over one bad job when you can trust them. And I'll just, uh, I'll just chat them up about their, their kids and be, be generally, you know, d- d- Okay, so you, you can use, I guess, conversation. Okay. Okay. Um right. Uh yeah, with the with the plus one from Dev Raider, you are able to I mean yeah, we honestly we we had to take some some low paying contracts when we couldn't get them. Yeah, and you wasted money on oh that's bullshit, brother. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. Alright, so I think how, how can we help? You know, Loan us some of your cargo. We'll get it back. And then we'll... I make air quotation mark. Try to sell it on the market. And you say it's stolen. And you kick up a fuss. You don't need to do anything but just to kick up a fuss about it. And kind of, you know, hit them where it hurts. Their reputation. You know what I'm saying, brother? Look, uh, I think, it, I think you need to understand. If we, if we lose a shipment, that affects our reputation too. Well, what happens if you lose a shipment to overwhelming forces and then manage to reclaim that shipment? Doesn't that look good? I just point at Cass. See what I'm saying, brother? How overwhelming are these forces? 
I'm talking um, there'll be explosions, there'll be fireworks. Hopefully nobody dies. I mean, we'll try and keep it clean. We'll cover up any damages. But uh, you guys will come out looking a bit rough for worse for wear. You get a quick patch job and show up beaten and bruised and yet still get your cargo back. That sounds like somebody I'd want to hire. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, he just kind of stares at you. Um, look, it's one thing to be annoyed at somebody, but this is this is so much, so many hoops are jumping through. Um, man, this is high business. Trust me on this one. Yeah, and this look, we're truckers. We don't, yeah, you know, we we make contracts for deliveries, but all uh, this uh, corporate fuckery. Yeah, no. Nah. And meanwhile, this guy's dressed up like fucking D'Artagnan with a twirly mustache and a big hat with a feather. <laughs> yep. I love this guy. Uh, no, musketeers are. Yeah, the musketeers are the ones. Oh, we're, yeah. we're, oh, we're dealing with regular truckers, okay. <laughs> yeah, th- th- this guy's in like oil-stained denim overalls. <laughs> Yeah. Understandably so. Yeah. Could try and hook them up with some corporate contracts, maybe lean a few of them recovery help, job their way think. well. Yeah, we've got to give them something concrete. Yeah. We can't just ask for something. They they need more of a guarantee. So I th- I think that would help. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to quickly pull out my agent, and since I'm my department is actually specifically acquisitions and mergers, there'll be something upcoming where we'll either be acquiring something, which, given uh, my corporate background, we are a corporation which acquires things rather aggressively, shall we say? Okay. <laughs> So I could easily hook them in, look at my upcoming jobs and try and find one to hook them in on for that as well. Safe and easy money for the most part. Okay. So uh, you you offer offer him a contract. Mm -hmm. I don't don't think you understand my my position. Um, This is... This is not about... um, you know, obviously money factors into it, but part of it is, you know, and part of it is actually reputation, but there's also, you've got to consider, uh, I I then have to go to whoever owns this shipment that we're, we're, uh, we're sending in. I have to tell them that it's going to disappear for at least a few days, and it might not come back if you guys fuck up. Uh yeah, uh, did you that. did you tell him that? Um, at least Let's pitch it that way instead. Yeah. I don't think we did. But let's pitch hey. it that way instead. Okay, if you guys want to, you know, talk him down. Explain no, yeah. that you just want a vehicle. Yeah, I, right. I can try uh, that. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, we're, we're waiting for uh, supplies. Um, but um. This contract had better be good. Man, we're talking safe and easy money for you. Don't worry about it. I Give me a business I... roll. Um, See how good of a contract you can get. I'll put um, two points of luck into that. You can do that after the roll if you want. Uh, oh, I see. Um, you'll you'll only need uh, one. Uh, you you get um, you you get a, actually a fairly fair contract. Um, you know, it's almost 50-50, uh, in terms of, you know, who, who's advantaged, um, almost, um, that, you know, he kind of walks out of, mm. you want un- two trucks? Easily, yep. And unlike those other fixers, I remember people who do good work, even if they have a bad day. <laughs> Get them, buddy. <laughs> All right, so so well, um, you guys can go in. Uh, don't make just don't hurt anybody. 
uh, at all, especially not the children. And you can make out with up to two trucks. I need them back by the end of the week, completely undamaged. Sounds like a fantastic deal to me, and I offer him a hand. Okay, he will. Uh... I'll, I'll I'll look out for the kids. I'll make sure nobody gets yeah. hurt. Yeah. Thankfully, maybe then. maybe do it. You know, all stealthy, like in the dead of night. Just tip us off, and we'll have the what we'll uh, we'll be recharging the drones' batteries then. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll leave the people who are better at that to come up with that plan and give you boys the details. <laughs> okay. Otherwise known as I have zero points in tactics or combat <laughs> skills, so somebody else handle that deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've, got, I've got no problem sneaking in and driving off with at least one of them. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, everybody, at this point, you get a message from your agent, you know, to the effect of, hey, boss, we're there, we found the ship, uh, when can we smash things? <laughs> uh, the, the text they received back is full of typos because my huge hands can't really type on my phone uh, yeah th- uh, th- there's like a little tool tip that pops up with would you like to try a dictation yeah it's all full of uh, uh typos and uh errors from fat fingering everything um yeah but it's uh basically it says uh, uh hold on for now uh, uh there's going to be a bigger payoff if we can keep this part quiet quiet what do you mean quiet I thought it was, I, I thought we were going into smash stuff, you know, you know, go in, get get some shit off uh, off the ship. Uh, a, a series of long rambling texts um, about like uh, the composition of a symphony, where if it's loud all the time, then the loud stops having an effect. You need these moments of quiet and silence in order to really sell it to the crowd <laughs> when it does get loud. Uh, give me either composition or conversation. Um, ooh, conversation relies on my human uh, humanity, which is always pretty low. Um, hold on, I'm looking for composition. I know it's in here somewhere. Uh, ah, here it is. The composition. Let's we'll see if I can get my point across. <laughs> Thirteen. Give me one lock. Yeah, take it. <laughs> I'm not going to remember to they'll, use it when I need to anyway. <laughs> they'll be, uh, uh, th- they can be stealthy this month, but the next, the next one better be big. Oh, it'll be big. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I predict that my market gets ugly. <laughs> Here's the question. Do you think we can level a floor of a building without any major casualties or not? <laughs> Well, uh, the answer to one of those is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest. I, 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 I don't have a lot of expertise in demolitions, but my understanding is that when uh, when things go boom, people get hurt. Well, if we blow up an outer wall or two, it won't collapse the building and people can go with fire escape. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I invite you to uh, to peruse the uh, the wreckage of a, a certain uh, World Trade Center. Where the fuck are uh, we going to get two planes? <laughs> we have some but my point being, they hit the outside of the World Trade Center and, you know, did enough damage to destroy the internal support beams. Uh, if you can point to the wall, you can point to the support beams. Yeah, but the outer wall. We don't have that big of a bomb there. <laughs> but I do like your idea. <laughs> <laughs> no way, that's too much collateral, even by our standards. Mm. Even Red Boy might yeah. draw a line there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Red Boy's just like uh, opening and closing his fists and like nodding. <laughs> Although, here's the thing did 9 11 happen in the Cyberpunk timeline? No, because the timelines had diverged by then. Yeah, yeah, so th- this is all very theoretical for you guys. Of you know, how much force does it take to destroy the outer wall of a building? No, I'm um, just thinking. Um, what about we're getting some breach charges on the uh, warehouse rooms or supplies? <laughs> Nothing like an open loot and fest either. We might be able to get ourselves out with some freebies. 
Red Boy uh, puts one giant sausage finger up. And he says, um, uh, hey, mate, I don't care what that building's made out of. I can walk through it. You're going to have to trust me on this. You know what, Red Boy? I handle all sorts of bizarre specialities. I trust my people when they tell me what they can do. <laughs> when the time comes, if we need it, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm looking at the... Uh, <laughs> uh, like, it, it, I think in Red Boy's first mission, uh, he he juggernauted through a concrete wall uh, in order to breach into a specific part of a building. Well, that saves us on the breach charges as well. Yeah, <laughs> save you a little money. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. All right, about the supposed heist. Tonight, yes. we go grab the two trucks from our friends. Yeah, that gives us enough plausible time for it to be stolen and appear at the night market without yeah. it being like too obvious. <clears throat> I have plenty of assisting gear if you need like some supplies in order to actually get it done. Or, you know, if GM wants to bill us basically some items to say, hey, this is how you did it without actually doing any damage. It cost you some flashbangs and whatnot, you know. Um, this is still so fun, it's isn't it? it's still Monday. The event is on Thursday. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Hang on, I, I do have, have the map from that gig. Um, but I just need to A, take it out of the archive, and B, remove all the old player characters. Uh, they were kind of all in a circle, and, like, the only thing that was defending them was a drone, and if the drone's mm -hmm. not there, it's going to be pretty easy just to walk in and drive off. Yeah. B basically, they're on, like, an, an old uh, petrol station parking lot. Yeah. Um kind of wind up in, in the little rows. And then off, off to the side is the actual building, which is where the nomads themselves hang out. Um, although you guys remember, they sleep in their vehicles mostly uh, because the, the, that bombed out uh, petrol station building is not very good for insulation. Oh, yeah. I'm sure... Oh, wait. Yeah. It's an apartment building, so either it appears inside the lane or outside and gets advertised on a stall, you know? Somewhere yeah. nearby. Okay, so... Um, this thing, the, the, these guys have a, a bit of an incentive to help you, help you guys out. So all I'm going to need is... Um, everyone needs to make an acting role, but only the leader's role counts. So everyone else is just assisting. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's, it's not to, to steal the trucks, it's to steal them and, and do it convincingly. Jesus. Damn, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I have a degree in theater. <laughs> it's the hang out of the window and yelling, so long, suckers, which really sold it, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, you guys have uh, you guys now have access to um, basically two compact ground cars that have heavy oh. chassis, housing upgrades, and let me check what else they had. Um, the only thing you guys need to do now is get them into the night market publicly. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Which I might be bordering on. Um, what's his name? Dice, isn't it? I want to say dice. Yeah. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, seating upgrade, housing upgrade, heavy chassis is what they have. And before, uh, I want to retcon a little, before we leave, I smack uh, the guy on the shoulder. Don't worry, brother, I'll take care of them. Okay, uh, he's asleep. No, before we left the <laughs> bar. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Travels back in time and slaps him on the shoulder. <laughs> That's very important to me. Shut up. Your <laughs> thing, brother. 
God, that that accent is going to completely kill my throat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's worth it, man. Okay, so which one is this for? And we need a lot of things to do here if this plan goes off the way we're going. And then, uh, Red Boy, so what? what is the exact plan in terms of getting the stuff off the ship? Um, uh, it, it depends on how it's sold to me, like, what we're getting off the ship exactly. You know what I mean? Um, so they have kind of various, like, 20-foot cargo containers. It's like a big kind of container ship. Oh, uh, I, I, I like it. Um, we're going to fast and the furious that shit because um, we, uh, uh, I, I guess there's a, a theoretical, uh, it's never really been established, but uh, we got cars. So <laughs> um, yeah, that, we I mean, hook up the chains uh, and just like track that shit out of there. What? Wasn't there some talk of spiders? Or am I misremembering? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure where you got no. spiders from either. No, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, how stealthy do you want this to be? Um, well, I want them to know they've been robbed. So. <laughs> no. Um, there's, there's a very good chance that if we do this, they're going to be paying attention anyway. So, they're going to know they got robbed. But if we don't take like extreme efforts, you know, like double checking, triple checking for any tracking signatures, you know, beacons, radios or whatever. Then... Also, where do you want them to bring the cargo container? Well, you see, that's going to be the next one. What we do is we need to crack it open and get the goods out at a safe point and then not so subtly. I mean, subtly enough that we get away with it, but still easy enough to track if they put effort into it, get it into the night market in some way. Yeah, so um, basically what I want to do is wherever... Um the host of this night market is like known to operate. Um, I want to take the, the cargo container there before we crack. So they they operate out of their, out of their apartment building. But where's their apartment building? Like I, I want to be Europe. geographically close by. So little Europe. So I can take it near Babylon even. Um, like I, I can or probably just take it back place. there. Yeah, that, that's maybe a, maybe a, that's the map of night part. city. There. I wouldn't say Boots place is the best of ideas. Because we don't want this tag to us in any way. We want to tag to them, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, here's the thing is, uh, my understanding of Babylon is that uh, it's a place, it's a neutral ground for any edge runners to go through. Yeah. Uh, so illegal activity comes and goes there all the time. It's not like we're employed by Babylon. Like, there are a ton of people that go to Babylon. Yeah. Um, so to have it be in Little Europe, in the backyard of where this guy is going to set up and operate out of, um, it's like... Uh, it gives us like a, an excuse to be like, uh, yo, we heard some weird shit going down. Uh, and we also heard about what happened to you. We have reason to believe that this dude's jacked your shit because he came through Babylon. You know how we're always at Babylon. We saw this motherfucker. <laughs> we take pictures on our phones, <laughs> send them out. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I, I think as long as it's geographically close, um, you know, doesn't even need to be at Babylon, yeah. but it needs close enough to little Europe. Right, so so give me a, a tactics roll to have this go yeah. off successfully. Can, uh, can I sure. assist him in the tactic? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Never mind. Uh, yeah, my tactics roll is not going to be able to handle this, so... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I'll let you use Big Boots roll. Uh, Red Boy, you begin kind of, my, my you know, Red trying to, yeah, you, know, my, you know, coordinate <laughs> things, and then Big Boot just kind of uh, shuts you up, like, no, let me handle this. I think you've got this backwards, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I let me tell you head. something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, you know, uh, to the top. <laughs> uh, Big Boot, I appreciate the help, but it turns out Red Boy's got this. <laughs> okay, brother. <laughs> God damn. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I, sorry. I, I misread. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I really got some red poison at the <laughs> Sorry, is it because both of your names have three letters at the beginning? Yeah, is that the problem? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you. Uh, yeah, th this is this is the the most precision you've seen from them. Uh, the uh, you 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 kind of you you get it delivered to like a a stockyard basically. Um, which is, um, 
uh, kind of um, just on the edge of the uh, of the the old corp center. Um, and it arrives there about one thirty in the morning. Um, it has uh, slight burn marks. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, yeah, as as soon as they pull in. Um, as many cars as I think is dramatically appropriate for this mafioso style scene lit by the streetlights. I'm going to grab, I'm going to peel open the cargo container uh, and we're just going to start offloading. Yeah, I mean, you've got body 14. I won't make you roll for it. Um, I mean, I, I actually, you, the only thing I'd make you roll for is if you want to keep the door, the, the door on the hinges. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. It, it can look. Uh... <laughs> that would seem firmly out of character. I'd almost say. That, that's why I said I wasn't going to make you roll. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that door right off the hinges. Um, and, and the idea is we want to leave this, uh, like all this evidence, like a couple blocks away, stashed from where the night market's about to be set up. Um. Actually, you know what. Uh, roll me one of your boys' combat numbers. Uh, I don't have access to one of my boys here. But, oh, okay. Uh, uh, what, what is their combat number? I'll roll uh, it. Combat number is 14. Okay. Um, 14. Ooh. Oh, you roll a failure. <laughs> GM, <laughs> why you do this? <laughs> okay. Uh, if you give me two luck for them, then they can succeed. Um, I do have two luck for my studio, so yes, I'll do it. Okay, uh, one of your one of your red boys manages to get a fake shipping label for this uh, for their apartment building and stick it on the thing. Um. <laughs> So yeah, there is now there is now a now it, under under scrutiny. This thing will not hold up. It's basically just been printed off. It has no official serial number, but you know, to the casual observer or to someone angry about losing their shipment, they now have an address. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Um, and, and I'm gonna have um. I'm going to take some pictures uh, on my phone <laughs> and um, yeah, just to just to be sure that like, oh, yeah, this gets documented. So when the time comes, I can be like, uh, yo, these are the receipts. Like, check this shit out. And then I'll send them over. Yeah. OK, so you guys have two trucks and you have um, inside of the crate uh, is basically packaged Asia pop. <laughs> um, Oh wait, no. Sorry, it's not Asia Pop because I didn't roll that from the night market. It is um, uh, Urban Flash. I do need a Urban Flash t-shirt. I don't mention it. <laughs> no, I'll leave it. It's, it's part of the goods for later. <laughs> now, how do you guys want to get your, your trucks and your Urban Flash into the night market? It's now uh, Tuesday morning, about 9.30 a.m. Yeah, who's got what it takes to uh, who's got what it takes to uh, uh, pose as a delivery guy? <laughs> yeah, if we legitimately get some honest to god patsy delivery guys to drive it in, you use like some of your fixer connections to get goods in for the night market. We could just sort of slip it in in line. Okay, so, um, so you so you wanted it to be delivered to the building for the night market. Oh, for days to put that together for us, yeah. Um, and uh, under whose name is this? <laughs> okay. Um. Someone give me a concentration check. Uh, 
Conan no, Drake I ain't afraid. Worst. <laughs> I'll roll it. Great either. Okay. okay. You guys remember there are extra checkpoints for goods coming into the night market. Yes, there are two checkpoints. That's what I'm uh, that's what I'm reading here in my notes. Yeah. Just 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 a reminder. Okay. Here's a question. Do we actually need to get them there, or do we just need to spread a rumor that they are gonna be sold at the market? Yeah, I mean, we can we can leave it in the parking lot out back if we need to. Like that's still yep. gonna be uh, close enough to be guilty by association. That's yep. true. Okay. Um. Right, and what are you guys doing with the two trucks? Those are important ones because we do actually need those close enough that the nomads really have an excuse. Yeah, you guys can see uh, on your agent that uh, somebody has put out a call that a bunch of nomads have been robbed um, and they're... It doesn't... Um, it uh, it doesn't name names, but it, it does insinuate that a, a certain uh, recalcitrant client has tried to get revenge on them. <laughs> okay. okay. Keep in mind that in all this, we still need to actually do the smash and grab part of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this is all set up so far. Th this is yeah. going to be perfect chaos to give us the chance to get the damn thing, though. Okay. Uh, give me a here and say that I wasn't. I was not exactly expecting this. <laughs> um, Always expect the unexpected. Yeah. In fact, I actually have some ideas of how I can do this. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any way that I could even get a legitimate pass to get those trucks into it because it's a luxury building, right? Yeah. It's a. Yeah. It's a luxury apartment building um, in the... you know, corporate threat rating area. Is that the lady I'm... that was gonna? Uh, didn't she offer us passes into? Yeah, you, you, you got passes. Uh, uh, you got passes through. Uh, uh, what's his face, Michael? Should I maybe maybe get a deduction roll to see if I could think of any corporate leverage I could pull to get delivery passes for things to that building? Something that'd be like. Un Give me a deduction roll. Or wouldn't we on hold with Michael about that too? Um, okay, it occurs to you, mm. you have a fixer yep. who can ask to sell things at the night market. I have oh, to yeah. get that. <laughs> 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 I did mention Dice doing that, remember? Uh, I think... Uh... <laughs> well, yep. I think you need to get, like, uh, I need to do, you need to kind of call them up and say that you have stuff to sell. Before? Yeah. That's the point. Yeah, we can hook you up with certain amounts. I mean, things. you, you do have, have a bunch of Asia pop. And Asia we pop. Do. Yeah, yeah, we don't want that. That's the opposite yeah. of what we want. Yeah, use a fake name. Mm -hmm. It's uh, <laughs> Mike. Hello. My name is Jonathan, real name. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a, an incident, there was a, a Russian spy, I think, living in the UK, who was kind of a bit lazy about it. And so one time she had to put down an address, she literally wrote 200 fake street. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you're so blatant, it works. <laughs> um, what about Katya? Medical supplies and all that always sell well. We could yeah. use that as actual stuff to get in, or we could also get in under hawking information. I'm pretty sure you can buy and sell information at night markets as well. Yeah, yeah. So a combination thereof, we turn up somewhat separately with a couple of vehicles, and then we slot the other ones in line. That means that there's also one of us there to you know kick up a fuss and argue at the checkpoint, bluff our way through it. Yeah, Katya has some cyberware that is definitely legitimately brought there. <laughs> Definitely. That she could sell. And um Dice, how's your um convincing and bullshit roles? You could go in and basically kick up a fuss if any of it gets stopped and you just 
are too busy kicking up with the fuss to notice that, oh, those weren't your trucks as well, but you just wanted all your stuff through. Sort of affair, you know? There you go. So you go in and you're just more concerned with getting your goods in. The fact that two extra trucks are in your list you didn't notice. Yeah, that means the cat you're can go with her. Mm -hmm. I know she's good at yeah. acting and stuff. I, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can talk my way quite well. I can um, put Bread Boy and Big Boot in some suits. I can go along like an acting legitimate <laughs> customer with invites from the uh, client. You guys can act as bodyguard. That gets us all in. Mm -hmm. Then all this stuff. Yeah, that was what I'm saying, but it just gives us more cover, you know? If it looks like I'm showing up as a legitimate client and I got two presumably hireable bodyguards. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll dress up in the uh, the new uh, business suit wardrobe that I found um, that <laughs> I got from some something, I forget. Uh, but we all bought business suits just to be serious. Yeah, it's for that as a Friday gig. <laughs> yeah, so I, I definitely have what it takes to dress up uh, in my monkey suit. So if this plan goes well, that means that we've got all our stuff in, all of the under good excuses, all of our setup seems to have gone well enough, and then we also get in, and it doesn't stick out that we just decide to show up because, you know, we show up looking like good, legitimate customers. And then the only other thing to do would be with the floor plan, try and case out the midnight part of it and get what we need to get out. I reckon the goods will have to show up either the night before or early the same day. That would be more for dice to work out, you know. That's fix or tear authority. Perfect, yes. And leaning on Red Boy stuff, um, one Biocorp could look out for another Biocorp, as it were, definitely guaranteeing that uh, exec will be very pissed off, you know, as um, basically an anonymous tip comes through from semi-official channels, like, hey, we don't want this happening to us, so uh, here's a heads up to you guys as well. Yeah. Uh, see if you guys, you guys can do that. Um, <laughs> it does look quite good on him. It does actually. <laughs> Looks better than it would on me. <laughs> He's got to have like those wrestler stat ones though with a bloody spandex so he doesn't flex and ruin it. Okay. So can you guys just remind me of the plan again? Um, so we got two parts here. We got the uh, part yeah. with dice, which we should do first. And then a second little part, which will be just a couple of business corporate type roles for me. Yeah. Uh so you guys are you're trying to you're trying to bring in like a, a, a shipment of uh various bits of stuff. Um uh, Dice, give me a trading role to get some stuff to sell at the night market. Okay. Uh yeah, you can uh, wh what do you want to sell? Um, you you find out that they're actually for this particular one that they they they're going with more weapons and fashion wear. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, yep. You can. Uh, you you can get some Asia pop. Uh, through more legitimate channels. Um, as far as, um, I'm trying to think how we can handle this finance wise. You can probably get this with you know IOUs. Uh, you know once you've once you've made the money at the market. But you will you you will owe people money for the the stuff that you've got unless you want to pay up front. Okay. Um. So, are you paying up front? Is is that what you're saying? Okay. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, that, that that's all good. Um, but yeah, I was, I'm gonna say you you owe about two thousand eddies. <laughs> um, this will be an opposed trading. Uh, but yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you can use your, uh, we'll say, deal one load by 10% to 1,800. So, yeah. Make some money if you're lucky. Also, uh, I'm assuming that you, you've at some point reached out to uh, Montoya and, and Z uh, and asked and, you know, tried to, you know, get an actual place in the, the market. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, so through through Mike, you're able to get the connections to to sell some stuff. Um they're they're very happy, they won't they won't I won't make you roll for it. Um but yeah, you can you can have your, your stuff arrive when you want it to arrive. Okay, and you're uh you're slipping in these two extra trucks. Okay, so we'll we'll cut to that. Um, so who is who is overseeing the delivery? I think we picked Dice and Katia for it. Okay, so where are you guys positioning like the convoy? Okay. You guys have about three trucks worth of stuff that you're uh, yeah. you're bringing, plus your two extra trucks. Yeah. Okay. But what what what's in these extra trucks? We do have a bunch of urban flash that needs to get in there. Yep. That's true. Okay, so um, yeah, the, the delivery driver has come up. Guy comes out. Security, uh, security guard uh, approaches this guy. The security guard has a, a very obvious shotgun and is wearing some sort of fairly, fairly solid armor. Um, and they they start you know, going back and forth. Um, you know the other. Uh, Shipping, uh, you know, it's it's addressed here, um, and yeah. Someone give me a luck roll. So one d ten under your luck. No, do you mean? <laughs> no, just half meta gaming because I know I probably got one of the better luck scores. Yeah, and half because it's kind of Cass's idea to put this all together. I think it'd yeah, be okay. it, it can be anybody. So what is that? Slash R one D ten, yeah. Yeah. That is under my luck. That okay. So um, the the um, delivery drivers are not enthusiastic about returning the staff, uh, and this is starting to drag on. As well as you guys queuing, there is also people behind you bringing stuff. Um. And uh, so, what what do you guys want to do? Uh, 
Uh, sir, um, uh, we're very sorry. There, there's been a confusion. Uh, if you can just hold, please, for a second. Uh, I, I, I apologize, sir, but uh, I, I just, I just need to speak to this guy, and we'll settle things. Okay. Um. Give me persuasion, and I'll check what this guy's human perception is. Uh, um, can I can I try to help on that? Uh, yeah. How are you helping? Yeah. Can I kind of just? Uh, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for my friend here. We're just we're just on a tight schedule, and we're just wondering if there's anything you can do. Just kind of try to grease the wheel a little bit. Yeah. Uh, my total is fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I'm willing to use luck on on it though. Okay, this is an opposed check. Okay. Yeah. Oh god. Right. Um. You you guys just go through, and we'll get. I'll talk to the boss, and we'll we'll figure things out afterwards. I mean, it's not like it's going in the actual market. It's just you know being kept in the the basement. Um. Ah, oh, for God's sake! And then he turns to go. Just drive in. Don't take anything out, just put your cars in there, and um, I'll talk to the boss. And the, the two trucks drive through, and you guys have a clear route. Thanks so much. Um, hang on. Um, so you guys come in, and uh, you see... Um, hang on, actually, you know what? I'll draw a map for this. Um, and I draw, I mean, a very crude map. <laughs> um. If you want black and dark gray. I am not going to bother putting the actual, uh, vehicles in. Um. Okay, uh, yep, this is the... And then I'll move, um... Yep, so, um, Dice and Cartier, if you want to drag yourselves out and put yourself somewhere. Okay. Because we do have a, a quick scene that's going to happen. Um... Okay. Okay. Um. So. Um. Hang on. Um. Wait. Yeah, I used. Okay. Um. So I managed to drag this guy out. Okay. This guy's going to come up. Hey. Um, uh, Carlos here. Um, right, so do you guys know what's happening with the, those two other trucks? All right, because uh, no, no fixer has claimed them. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. Um, drivers, I want to take this stuff back. Um, Something, some crazy poser or ganger, um, um, some like edge runners poser or ganger. I, I don't know. Um, but if you guys can, uh, I don't know if you guys can do anything. Uh, uh, yeah, if yeah, you come by it. tomorrow at midday, we will be doing setup then. Um, okay, okay. But, uh, I, yeah, I just need to deal with these. Because, um, honestly, even if the, the drivers don't want to send it back, I'm going to have to send them back if, if nobody claims these. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I could do that. You'd, you'd think after all these years in the industry, I'd you know, figure that out, but yeah. I mean, we, yeah, could we, could we park the trucks in front of it or? Yeah, I just, you know, didn't, um, always a bit fishy. You know, there's been, um, been some stories of some, some similar goods getting, uh, stolen. Right, right. Um, That's you know, don't, uh, don't want to attract any heat, but honestly, um, I, don't, I think we've got enough heat as is. Um, right. Okay. Thanks, guys. Um, and he gives you, uh, he, uh, he gives you his business card. Um, it, yeah, thank it's, you so much. Yeah, much yeah. appreciated. Uh, Carlos Montoya, um, you know, uh, um, um, merchant of many things, um, you know, the basic stuff. Okay, and then we will yeah, cut absolutely. back to, um, it is now the day of the night market. Um, just before the day of the night market. Yeah. Uh, give me a perception check. It's just a business card. <laughs> Quadruple ruse, man. This is like the backstab of all backstabs. Yeah. yeah, this is a backstab and a back... It, it's backstabception, basically. Dorothy's yeah. actually setting us up. That's what's happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as long as it doesn't end like Game of Thrones, I think we'll be fine. Listen, if we get Red Boy a dragon, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is not Shadow Run. Get uh, get those dragons away from here. Ah, oh, got the dragons. Just the game's mixed up all over again. Happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but um, the other part for it was, and since you said it's the day of the market, I think yep. early in the morning, what I'll do is I'll look out to you know corporations that have to keep ways of actually officially getting lines to each other, you know, business to business. So the, 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 the fashion way that you stole is from, um, that info, uh, whatever, wasn't it? We decided, uh, well, I, I guess it, it's ended up being from a different mm -hmm. because, uh, for better or worse, uh, one, uh, Infinite Life probably doesn't deal in fashion. True. And two, were you really going to be able to get the red boys to get a specific crate? This is true, um, it's just serendipity via the medium of Red Boys. <laughs> but still, there's no uh, way that I can't get at least a hold of one other exec's number, right? Yeah, so you, you find you the 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 company that it belonged to was printed on the side of the, the container. Yep. And that company is um uh Bright Wine Fashion. And yeah, you can get a number for one of their uh, uh a guy in acquisitions. Fair enough. And what I'll happen to do then, because I wasted a bit, a bit too much money on some cyberware and whatnot. Actually, no, wait, I don't, I didn't get the voice module, never mind. Um, so instead, Katia seems to be good at acting her way about things. So what I'll do is I'll hook her up with one of my disposable cell phones and the number. Oh, okay, okay. And Katia, what you do is I've dialed in the number when time is ready. Call right. up this number. Just tell him that you're an anonymous friend from another corporation who doesn't want to see this happen to you. Okay, okay. And if enough. he ever hears about anything similar happening to cyberware, he probably knows who to contact in time. And uh, I'll mark okay. down one of my disposable cell phones because once we do that, we dump the thing. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So give me a persuasion for him to believe you guys. Okay, okay. Oh my oof. god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Um oh no. Right. Um I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get your number, Trace. I'm gonna figure out who the fuck you are and why you're calling me. <laughs> okay. Uh, definitely the wrong number, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he hangs up. Um oh no. okay. dump the oh phone no. near the apartment building. 
and a thrash can yeah. inside of something. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. Good, we're gone. Oh, come on, the best way to plan. Yeah, let's see. How, how bad was your fumble? Oh, God, that yeah. was a maximum fumble. It was really bad. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Listen, you might have annoyed them so much that they come to investigate anyway. <laughs> the cheek of yeah, it. The, yeah, the, yeah. I, I, I guess you know RPG mechanics don't really support the whole thing of you fail so badly you somehow succeed. <laughs> uh, there was actually a um, yeah, it was a an improv theater uh like D and D inspired event that I went to in my first year of university, yeah. and they actually had it where there was a a DM on stage with a, a giant die rolling it. Yeah, if she got a natural twenty and she was rolling for the, the the players on the stage, then that meant that they succeeded so badly they fa- they succeeded so well they ended up failing. She rolled a natural one, then they failed so badly they somehow ended up succeeding. Uh, and I thought that was kind of fun. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, at what time do people want to arrive to the night market? Fashionably late with. Red boy in a suit because I want red boy. In well, a I mean, suit. Uh, Dice needs to be there to set up. Yeah, so he gets in early. That means he can do the casing of the joint in a little bit for us. I'd say we wouldn't be there for early doors to like half an hour, forty-five minutes, and after. Okay, all. hang on. I need to move a bunch of NPCs around in layers because civvies wouldn't have arrived yet. So I'm gonna squirrel them away. Um. Um, hang on, so, um, doop, um, doop, um, doop, uh, <laughs> so th- this is going to take a while as I set things up, so, um, <laughs> Is this a good uh, time for like a quick ten minute bio break or something? Sounds like a good plan to me. I'll grab a coffee. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So who? Um. So dice, you're you're showing up uh, early. Is anyone coming with you? I think Katya was going to come in with the medical supplies, but I don't think she's back. Well, no. That that was the the thing with the trucks. You guys already did. Oh. Okay, so dice might just be you to case out early. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, well, I think um, when shit starts breaking bad, uh definitely uh, we need to find a way to the people who put this thing on you know i think uh that's something you could probably facilitate with uh, what with your smooth talking yeah cuz um you could try and angle for a way into the midnight market uh, i can't remember who told us but somebody did let it slip that it happens upstairs usually ah make yes that's why we don't want to completely ruin his reputation or rob him during all of this yeah, so if you could either case out wherever the upstairs joint is, you know, like just by watching where those guys come in and go out, or if it is as simple a case as hopping in the elevator up a floor. Yeah, if we can get rubbing elbows with the guys who put this on uh, and get an invitation into the safe room when things go nuts, <laughs> then yeah, then we're good. So I've not I've not tried this before, but what I've what I've done is I've put people who aren't going to be immediately in the gig, uh, in the uh, in the building, in the GM layer. And I have no idea how that will interact with PC tokens. Um, but I assume you can't use them if they're in the GM layer. Um, if you're on the GM layer, um, or if, if they are, we can't touch our characters, but you can touch NPCs um, yes. and activate them. This That's time. what I want. Um, because I wouldn't be able to just, you know, like, select you guys and go move layer when the time is right. Okay. So, uh, Dice, um, you uh, you come, what, what time do you arrive? Uh, they said it was like they started, started set up at midday, but you don't need to be there right away. 
Yeah. No, a setup starts at midday. The actual nine market starts at six. Okay. So yeah, you can you can see yourself on the map. God damn it! Uh, you're down in the south there. Yeah. It's a big map. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, uh, what would you uh, what would you like to do? Okay, so as you're just kind of in the area outside these huge double doors that they have, uh, give me a perception. So there's like some, they're, they're actually fairly obvious cameras. They seem to be, prob they probably, be probably belong to the, uh, the actual apartment building. Um, so they'd be maintained by whoever does that. Um, but yeah, you know, cameras, but nothing out of the ordinary. And then, uh, I guess you're going in. Okay, let me reveal. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, the, the, these guys are, the, these guys are, are running the, the food and drink stalls. Yeah. Yeah. So the the light guards don't seem to have any obvious weapons apart from like maybe a microwave. Uh but the the heavy guards have a wearing heavy armor jack and they have shotguns. And everyone including the light guard seems to be made uncomfortable by their presence. Um, so you're selling fashion wear. Um, so you're directed down to the, the south. And I'll just expose that area. Because uh, that's where the, the fashion will be. Hey, yeah. I'm good to see you. Um, cars. Oh, I, I thought you meant like the, the, the goods inside them. Trucks are still downstairs. Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't mean selling nobody's cars. I'm assuming they're going to come back for them. <laughs> yeah, no worries. We, uh, we kind of had a bit of an opening. Um, so, uh, yeah. Thank you for helping us out. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, so you, you can see some of your stuff has already been laid out. And there's like a little a kind of cheap sign they made for you to show, you know, which area is your store. It's about, um, it's like here is where your stuff is set up. Um, yeah. And uh, it's not all of your staff. Uh, Mon uh, Montoya will kind of come up and say, if you need the rest of your staff, it's in, it's in boxes in the, uh, down the hall, down the hall to the, down the hall to the south. Um, no, it's this hall here, which you have not seen yet. Mm. Yeah, sure. Just make sure everything's there. Uh, right, and I will do my reveal -y things. Um, okay. Uh, hello? Yeah, um, uh, who's this coming through? 
Oh, oh, dice. Uh, you're in. Um, uh, you, your stuff is in here. And I will uh, reveal. Okay. Oh, and you can hear over in this room that it sounds like there's like a washing machine running. Like, um, like laundry. Nice. Uh, nothing. Oh god, why do they why do they start set up so early? Oh my god. Um they, this thing's gonna run six hours and we've got six hours of setup, then they'll be, you know, clean up at three hours afterwards. It's like God, they don't even give me a smoke break. Well yeah, six hours. That's that's pretty long for a nine market. Yeah, um, oh, t I mean, there always is, you know, you know what it is with fixes. I mean, honestly, I, have, I, 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 yeah, I, I guess that's why they have all the, these extra guards who, you know, yeah, they, they're from our company, but like, we never work with them, you know, and, but I, as if we know where they come from, um, Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, they're, they're paying me. I can't, I can't get that angry at them. Um, it's just, you know, it'd be nice if we didn't have to, uh, you know, ruin the. Uh, we we do we do try to keep it pretty costly here. You know, I've got I, I've got an S, I've got an SMG, uh, but you can't see where it is. Um, damn good reason for that. We don't want, we don't want people getting too alarmed. Um, you know, there's us, we normally have the net runners upstairs on the, on the turret. Um, so no, normally things are fine. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know why we need all these extra security guards. Fuck the fine <laughs> Yeah, I I'll leave that I'll leave the fixer stuff to you. I'm I'm just a guard. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, sure. I mean I'm I I mean I, I'm gonna be here the next fucking hell, fifteen hours. Uh if you've got some energy drinks. <laughs> Uh yeah, he'll he'll take it. Yeah, I'll I'll need that in the bed. Yeah, thanks, man. Okay. So Yeah. Okay, um, Grimfram, you need to be like, uh, fix the rank nine to get into a midnight market. Uh, cause I know it's, it's rank nine to, to, to set up a, a midnight market. No, rank nine is luxury, rank ten is super luxury. I was literally looking at this a couple of days ago for these characters. <laughs> um Look, kiddo. Um you know, you you, you wanna I, I, I get it, you know, I was I was young once. Uh I, I know I was like, you know, showed up. You you just gotta you just gotta take what you can get. You know, when uh when the time is right for you to be dealing with uh, the kind of real serious stuff, I'll let you know. 
Uh, but for now, just uh, keep doing what you're doing. Keep uh, keep up in the the fashion industry. Um, because you never know if you make it big, uh, you can uh, take you can reinvest uh, that, that success and uh, go even bigger. I mean, you could have brought weapons. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we've got we've got tons of weapons. I, I think we've got a a Malorian arms this time. Bruh. <laughs> As Big Boot explodes through the wall at the mention. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, that's the wrong thing. Heavy Never breathing. <laughs> yeah. Sweat, blood, states. Oh, uh, you go up, up, uh, up to those doors. Um, it's uh, we- weapon stalls are in there. Um, you know, kind of. Um, wait, can I move my touch? No, I can't. Um. Hang on, yeah, right, uh, right over here, and then I will reveal this area to you. Um, I need to make sure I don't reveal the next floor up. Um. Okay. Yeah. So th- there are there are all kinds of weapons. Do you want me? To, you want me to go through what they have? Yeah. Yeah. So that that's more in arms there. Uh, we've also got some, some rocket launchers. Um, we have some really we've got some really great like katanas and naginatas. Um, really really great quality stuff. Okay. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Oh, you mean the midnight market? He kind of narrows his eyes, but he he doesn't say anything. Yeah, you're uh, you you gotta start small. It's a uh, tradition among fixers. Okay. All right, and I need. To... Okay, so is everyone else? So we can cut to when um when everyone else arrives. Yeah. So half of them seem to have a open openly be carrying microwaves, and the other half shriekers. Um, and then from what you go, all of them have concealed SMGs. Okay, so I think I'm boys. I'm gonna do the risky power play, and I doubt I can hide a light armor jack underneath an executive suit, especially not a tailored one. So I'm gonna literally risk my life here for the power play and shopping the full exec outfit. I respect it. I really do. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Note to self: target cast first. <laughs> you weren't gonna do that anyway. After all the shit I've given you tonight. <laughs> Uh, so we can uh can we pull ourselves onto the map here um so i've already got you guys on the map i am going to uh move you guys into the token land now before we go in i'll let red boy know that he needs to act like my bodyguard tonight which means he has to take some shit from me and if he does take some shit from me please don't murder me for it later <laughs> okay oh we'll see oh so, yeah that's a good question uh do people usually not open carry in these night markets? Um, this is a corporate zone, uh, so you can't really be bringing heavy ordnance. All right, well then, okay. I guess Elizabeth is staying at home. I don't okay. know. We put that in a carry on. We bring it with us. A nice corporate carry on, because I have a carry on. 
We should fit at least one shotgun, no? Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so can you guys see yourselves? Yep. Yes. Uh, yep. And now I'm going to start adding in the civvies. Okay. Because there are, I can't do a blanket thing because there are other people that I want to keep hidden. Uh, okay, so yeah, you guys uh, show up. Um, you're in like the, you're just outside the elevator. What do you guys want to do? Okay, well, I guess first things first is we just casually get ourselves on the inside because I think we'll either be forced to wait until our distractions and entertainment kicks off. And that'll yeah, so, uh, I, I believe I'm, I'm here to, uh, to be someone's bodyguard, so I'm going to go find... Uh find my quote client well no, you're here with me man so you know yeah. you and big book get to flank me i've always wanted to strap him in either side of me <laughs> you're in a horny jail <laughs> it's not horny jail it's style listen you know you got two massive mountains of meat and then you got Captain <laughs> when he's in charge that is a power play <laughs> red boy's forearm is the same size as cass and he's still getting the one that's ordering him about <laughs> Say what you want, man, but that is bonuses. I don't care what anybody says. Who needs yeah. the bloody teamwork skill when you just have player characters do the job for you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got uh, two cats. I know, I can't get rid of me. I'm... <laughs> I can't get rid of you either. I've been trying all night. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, where's, where's the second cat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, directly here. I'll put them both together. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I will See, delete one. I... Four cats. Okay. Yeah. Double the fun. Hang on, I'm in the wrong layer. Um. Okay. The, this cat has disappeared into the ether with just a, a silent scream. <laughs> <laughs> some makes me bad luck. Some makes so good. Wow. Rude. <laughs> I'm not being rude, I'm just being factual. <laughs> uh huh. Hang on, did I accidentally reveal something I shouldn't have? Yes. Probably. We didn't see it. We, we didn't see it. Uh, no, that is definitely not. That's what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> Malorian arms, not Mandalorian. Ah, uh, otherwise, they'd be no. sued by the mouse. <laughs> um, no, 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 this is the off brand, okay? They don't actually have the yeah. thing the Mandalorian arms are actually selling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so did we bring the sh my shotgun or not? Yeah, so you can have it in a carry all and a, it comes down to just like me. Yes. Okay. It's a business class carry all, so it, it, it matches my suit, not quite yours. We'll dress you up as best we can. Yeah. A big right, I think I put all the civvies on the map. Um, Business wear. There we go. Everyone's okay, good. so if you guys want to uh, head in. There we go. Let's start off by making some casing rounds, I guess. Go for like a general wander round and see if we spot anything particularly out of the ordinary or something that yeah, maybe that dice might have missed. Okay. And Red Boy, stay with me in a vague vicinity. You don't have to, like, stick on me, but, you know, I would, like, bodyguard. Uh, do you guys have radio communicators? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, I certainly do. I, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I even have spear. Yeah. And dice? I'm looking for a secret service right now. <laughs> dice? Okay. Remember, I specifically bought a bunch just in case. <laughs> so if anyone didn't have one, I could easily give them one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I also have a bug detector. Okay, so you guys uh, come in. Um, this guy, um, who's just by the, the desk uh, here, 
is going to kind of check your names off a list. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, come through, come through. Uh, welcome to the night market. Please, uh, uh, please enjoy the complimentary refreshments at the table is just uh, just left and right of me. And uh, yeah, have a good evening. Thank you very much, my man. Um, uh, definitely, uh, I can feel he's getting like the you know the pat down or the the you know the the metal detector or whatever. Yeah, they um, they, wanna... they don't really bother with that as long as there's nothing visible. They okay. they aren't going to do anything. All right, cool. uh, I, I just want to uh, take a look around and see like these are the stairs to the second floor, right? No, those were where we came in. I think the stairs. Well, to I don't know. Like we might oh. come in somewhere like here, like right, right, right over on the edge. Yeah. To the um, right. And do I do I see anybody here who looks like um, more in charge than uh, than our, our boy Carlos, or is it just him? Um, you do not see anybody else. Okay. Uh, he's kind of yeah. bustling about, organizing things. You know, dude. Okay. Uh, dude, dude, dude. You get the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm I kind of like. Um, offer to Cat just very quietly because she's the closest to me. Um, uh, that uh, hold on, we go find our way to the second floor. That's where the goods are. And sounds then I'm gonna kind of like gesture yeah. over there. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Shall we? Um, yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna kind of like uh, stay halfway between Cass and Cat. Because yeah. depending on who I need to act as bodyguard for, whoever's going to get up the stairs. Yeah. You know? yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, do you guys want to do any any shopping, or are you guys just getting straight to it? I'm no, I mean, too uh, I'll, shop. Some, <laughs> I'll spend some time actually doing some proper rounds, as you know, basically setting up the cover almost. Yeah. So, wait, who do you want to talk to? Wait, which section do you want to go to? Um, let's start off. Well, you know, we'll get some drinks, grab it first, and I'll make a. That's yeah, like so these are, these are like the the average quality kind yeah. of, and they, they don't want you taking too many. They give me cheek say, <laughs> "Have you seen the size of my bodyguard? He needs four. <laughs> if you want to kill him, he can have four. Oh, fine. For fuck's sake, just take. Thank you. Trust me, it's better for both of us in the long run. <sighs> Cat grabs. Yeah, if I, if I have to hear one more time that size matters, I'm gonna fucking wreck you. Nothing. That's what he's here for. You want to have that conversation? You take it up with him. Yeah, sure, whatever, mate. <laughs> okay, so um, how are we gonna handle this? I think um, we'll do this as like a skill challenge. Mm -hmm. Um. Like uh, dice, so you need to give me two successes before you give me two failures, and you can't use the same skill twice. So, you're gonna walk me through what you're doing to sell things. Kind of, you know, get the, you know, get some some deals going. Yep. So, uh, roll that for me. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna count, uh, yep. That's a 10. Yeah, nice. And a 10. Okay. Yeah. So if you succeed, then you, you'll get a bit of extra profit. Uh, and then your your second roll is gonna be... Oh yeah, that, that works. So, um, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> All comes down to the next roll. Um, if you do that, then security will swarm you. I'm just going to warn you. Could, can he use the same skill twice if uh, if he fails? No. Okay. Like, show, show how, how flexible the clothing is. Go ahead. 
Okay, so these were, um, yep, so you've succeeded, and I will make a note of how much profit you have earned, and I will tell you at the end of the night. Um, okay, so everyone else. Okay. Cap take lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, give me a rough idea of where in the map you guys are going. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are we? So, are we trying to make our way upstairs slowly? What's the general plan here? Well, the idea is we're not going to get upstairs by force or right. by chance unless nope. our distractions kick off in the most beautiful fashion when we need the timing. So, yep, what we okay. want to do is we want to try and angle it away to get ourselves invited. Or at least let upstairs, you know? So a general carousing, browsing, yeah. talk to people, sort of make our presence known, kind of like what Dice did there almost. On a yeah. Sort of general yeah. scale tip. Oh, I've realized I still have a couple of civvies that I haven't moved over onto the mm -hmm. token layer. Um, hang on. Um, We've got a guard at the foot of the stairs to... I love the uh, artwork decisions here, by the way. I know. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Uh, with Sid Vicious and your civets here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, was, I was kind of tempted to, you know, start doing some, some joke names, you know, Civis Dickus. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Just for the um, uh, the sake of like uh, espionage, uh, Red Boy's gonna follow Cat around and see if she can find a way up. Okay. okay, that works. Okay, and she has a drink in her hand, and she's just gonna kind of wander around and browse things. And she, yeah, you know, so she, are you going anywhere in particular? Yeah, I think. Uh... I'd like to try to make my way over and maybe chat up the guard at the foot of the steps, maybe? Okay, um, so if you want to move yourself over. Yeah. Yeah, like over this uh, way. Uh, uh, Ma'am, I am, I am sorry, uh, we, uh, uh, you are not allowed to, to go up there. Oh, really? Oh, oh, wh why not? Why not? Um, this is a, a restricted area for uh, private meetings. Oh, so there's nothing, nothing interesting, nothing, nothing we can look at up there at all. Uh, not really. Uh, it is just um, there is a meeting area, and it is where the uh, our generous hosts uh, live, where they have their their rooms, they, they sleep in, and uh, whatnot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, is there anything that you uh, could suggest that we look at? Is there anything of particular interest that you could direct with, us to? Well, you uh, are, are here in, in the market. Uh, yes, there is. Yeah. Uh, we have some, some great royals. We have a, a Malorian Arms uh, uh, 3516. Uh, we have some uh, rocket launchers. Um, I, I think we have uh, also uh, on the, the fashion department for, uh, for you, uh, um, uh, Miss. Uh, we have uh, some very nice... Um, uh, urban dash and uh, business wear, uh, as well as uh, perhaps a bohemian, if you are uh, more of a uh, that bent. Oh, I mean, I, I'm I'm so sorry. As she kind of looks down at herself, and I, yeah, I, I would love to look, but I, I, I just I don't really know my way around. And is there any way that maybe you could show me where some of these things are? Uh, he kind of taps his ear, and a guy comes over. Uh, miss, do you need help? Yes, please. I would love uh, a tour around. I, I, I'm okay, new here. Uh, I don't really yeah. know. Uh, follow me. Okay. okay. So she kind of goes, goes, goes after him, just really casually taking her time, strolling. Yeah. Okay. And Red Boy? Oh, yeah, That's I'm good. following as well. Um, I, I don't want to. Okay, like, so this, uh, is, this is the the fashion area. Can I can I introduce you to uh, this fine gentleman over here? Uh, I believe he's got some some nice stuff. 
Uh, and he indicated dice. Yes, yes, please do. I'd like that. Uh, both of you give me acting roles to pretend like you've never met. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Okay. I'm willing to put luck on it if I need and, to. And uh, dice? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, and I'll roll his human perception. Okay. Um, and he did not like that. Because roll 20 is annoying. Ha oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then he is going to move back to his post now that he's introduced the two of you. Okay, okay. Um, so this guy is kind of like the little major D guy, right? Uh, no, <laughs> he's just oh, killing us around right now. Uh, no, he's just a guard that was kind of called up to request backup. He's going to um, be back to his post. Oh, you mean so, um this guy? Yeah, I, I um I kind of want to make a play here, but I'm, I want to work with UG. I want to how to do this. Um, I want to kind of name drop somebody. Uh, within earshot of, uh, I think Carlos is kind of the man right now. Uh, I yeah. want to name drop somebody within earshot of Carlos uh, on behalf of Cat. Like, um, and what I'm going for is like, uh, um, now all this is pretty uncivilized. Um, uh, do you think so and so would uh, would care about any of this? Uh, and that so and so would be somebody who's like a big spender around here, might get the attention of him. I mean, in terms of what people you can think of, you know, Miss Dorothy? Uh, I don't want to name drop Miss Dorothy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. You guys don't really know anybody at the night market, I don't think. Yeah, it, it's not about actually knowing them. I want to name drop somebody uh, potentially famous for having deep pockets. Uh, <laughs> sorry. With the intent that I'm going to kind of sell Cat as uh, a representative. Um, um, Cass, what's the name of your boss? You know what? I actually have this noted down somewhere. Give me a quick second. <laughs> because Ronan kept getting angry at me because I kept forgetting it. <laughs> I will find this. Ron, if you have that note somewhere, please, for the love of God, give me it. <laughs> Bionova. Like a... Made up. Ah, there we go. Gilbert Diss. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming this guy's like a powerful corporate manager of some port, some sort. Yeah, um, Bionova is like a good mid-tier sized actual corporate. Yeah, so, you know, you guys mentioned... Um, you know, to some extent, the uh, um, um, okay, so yeah, you, you can you can name drop, was it Gilbert Diss? Yep, um, okay, so, um, Pocket, give me an acting role, sure. Uh, and I'm going to check what this guy's human perception is. Um, I think he has a bonus. Um, yeah, it's right next to the ungodly long skill that I had to give him. Yeah, I was never going to see him. None of us are ever going to see him. Okay. Um, uh, uh, just ping me when uh, ping me when it's time to kill everyone. <laughs> okay, first of all, let me roll a d10 to see how things are going in terms of certain. Right. Um, okay. So I need to start moving some people. Um. Send in uh, Red Boy and he will clear. Okay, so the, the bathroom is here. So you're just walking up and so how are you approaching? You're just like walking up and opening the door. Uh, 
Um, hang on while I get this tool working. Um, oh, oh my god, I'm literally in here. Can you can you not? And this woman with you know her skirt around her ankles. Um, oh my, oh, get out! <laughs> <laughs> um and he's like yeah go down go down that other corridor that branches off right at the end of the corridor on the left you know where the um and i'll, I'll indicate on the map where this is um once i get my mouse to behave um, it's like here. It's hang on, it's oh, it's not working because I'm in um the wrong tool. It's here. Okay, and I need to go back to that tool. <laughs> I should probably set up dynamic lighting. It's just uh, my last experiment with that did not go well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, if only you hadn't decided to start climbing up on the lo lovingly arranged uh, crates of stuff that the cat was meant to a xenomorph you guys with. <laughs> Not, not gonna lie. If we're not making any progress on this soon, I'm just going to walk up the side of the building, break into the second floor, and start going ham. <laughs> okay. Yeah, brute force out of plan B. It's there. Give me a a one d ten roll un, uh, under your luck. To be fair, now we could definitely arrange some good distractions for this. <laughs> if only I had bought those breaching charges, but somebody talked me out of it. I am talking breaching charge. Don't okay, worry. there is a vent, but it's not big enough to crawl through. Ah, uh, because most vents aren't that big. God damn it, die like to me. Um, how how big is it? <laughs> is your contortionist skill? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Right. Um. Okay, as you're doing that, let me give another 1d10 roll for uh, no reason. Fair enough. Uh, Can just... doing something, uh, just so you know, so uh, just in case something ends up happening simultaneously as they're going through things, you never know with, with these things. Cass will be um, putting himself around, mainly at this stage, angling and talking with the fashion dealers. I want to use the um, personal grooming skill. Or the um, wardrobe and style skill, maybe a combination there of both. And um, what I'd be trying to do is basically put myself out there as a highly discerning customer. You know, these is the stuff that they show the regular yeah. people. Where's the good yeah. stuff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Which uh, and, I don't know which one you'd want, okay. so I'll roll both just in case. Uh, okay. And they both came out the same. Way. <laughs> yeah. So you're able. Uh, you can uh, you can chat up the people. I'll give you the rundown of what they actually have in terms of fashion wear. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got Urban Flash, EMP threading, light tattoos, bag lady chic, but obviously you, you aren't interested in that. You're far too discerning. Yes, they've got far. Bohemian, uh, tech hair, gang colors, business wear, and biomonitors. Business wear is fine, but I know you have better than this. You wouldn't dare set the proper stuff out where people touch it, crease it, and dirty it. And when I do yeah. that, you know, it kind of like casually adjusts his, you know, cuffs flashing off the uh, full exec price jewelry. 
Oh, we we have some stuff in uh, the storerooms. That's uh, oh, that would be much more interesting for someone like me. Yeah, the, those are just uh, down the hall. Okay. Please come, show me your wares. <laughs> okay, but oh. as this as this is happening, uh, a few people turn up, mm-hmm. and um, this leader guy is going to um, gesture to uh, Red Boy. Hang on, that Oop, that did not what that did not go as intended. Um, um, sir? Sir? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll respond. Um, hey, um, uh, could you, uh, step outside with us for a moment? Oh, I would love to. And I'm gonna follow them. Okay, um, so he's gonna move out here, along with the two guys he brought and this um, heavy guard um, and this other heavy guard that he calls over. Well, with all of them and one red boy, the odds are almost 50-50. Sir, you've been, uh, sounds like you've been causing trouble. Um, do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I would shrug and say, um, uh, you know, well, I've been causing trouble, mate. I'm here on official business, just trying to help my client peruse. Well, you haven't really been hanging on with your client, and you've been, uh, uh, stirring things up, you're a, you're a bit of an intimidating presence. You're a guy like you doesn't really seem like you'd be um, um, hanging around just a regular night market. Well, mate, uh, perhaps you heard of me. Uh, I'm a bit of a big deal uh, in the security market. Uh, yeah, you uh, you uh, your your boys stole a bunch of um, Urban Flash. Uh, so should I kill them now? I mean, or, like, I mean we don't care about that, that, you know. It's just, uh, you know, you can steal what you want, just, you know, be more That's respectful like, give me, here. Give me a chance that we set up a distraction. <laughs> the only person I'm babysitting today uh, is my client inside. So uh, if you have nothing else to do except tell me that you feel small standing next to me, and I'm going to go flower over This guy head. also seems to have a linear frame for the record. Just not as big that, of a that, linear that, frame. That, 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 <laughs> just spine backwards. Uh, I'm not worried about him having a linear frame either. Uh, if all you have to do is tell me you feel small next to me, then perhaps we're done here and you can let me get back okay, to my... Okay, I'm going to roll a concentration check for him to see how insulted he feels. <laughs> uh, can I just do a quick search to see if you have any weapons? He is the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, mate. And I'll T pose and hold my arm out. <laughs> he laughs. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> now can I just pat you down? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't mind if he gives me a pat down. Uh, I'm not coming in strapped. I'm just coming in uh, as me. Do any okay. of the rest of us know that this is going on? Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss Red Boy yeah. and a small like, squad be escorted. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Red Boy on his own. Yeah. Could we like, come over and make a scene about our bodyguard being harassed or something? Like, <laughs> you yeah. know that, and I'll keep working with Boot to try and get ourselves up Yeah. Soon. Yeah, okay. It might be the distraction you need. If you can cause enough fuss, Carlos may get his attention over there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the, the security chief is going to uh, pat you down. Um, you know, he'll keep everything professional, you know. Uh, but uh, when, once he's done, he's going to, all the thing up to his ear, kind of mutter a bit. Um, 
Is, is he trying to keep it quiet what he's saying? I want to know what he says. <laughs> um, give me a lip reading roll. Uh, sure. And then, then while, while that's going on, I'm going to kind of... Uh, yeah, uh, kind he's, of he's making yeah. words. Um... <laughs> <laughs> wow, eh? yeah. it, uh, this might be the first time on the whole server the lip reading has been used <laughs> uh, I don't know why they put that skill on there to be honest <laughs> Uh, incredibly yeah, useless like skill that. in a game of writing type. Yeah, if you're walking someone from across the room or something. Yeah. Yeah, but even just like use perception. Game. You know, it's, it's. I know, I know right? Well, <laughs> if you read the skill, it's that like if you have like 14 in it, you can pretty well make out whatever anybody is saying like across a room. That could be useful. Yeah. It's yeah. More specific in general. <laughs> and that's why. Just because you're really good at scanning the environment doesn't mean. You you know, you can sit and pick up the intricacies of a talk. I kind of get why it's a social. Yeah. Still, from a from a actually having a condensed practical skill list with useful options. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah. Pretty, pretty bloated list, but it is what it yeah. is. Uh, I'm going to roll a d10 to see what they're going to do about you. Okay. <laughs> Choose wisely, security chief. <laughs> okay. Um, by choose wisely, I, I hope you mean plot a shotgun. That's what he's going to do. Um, Kat, have you ever met Red Boy before? <laughs> no, 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 just in the bars the first time we've met. Yeah. I'm going to, while uh, Red Boy's being led away, I'm going to nudge Cass and point to Warstead stairs, know that there's only one guard there. Yep. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm also going to go over there and uh, like throw a gigantic spoiled tantrum and ask them what they're doing with my bodyguard why they're harassing him. Oh, okay, before you do I, that, I like that. Uh, everybody roll me initiative. I don't like it when you ask that. <laughs> Alright, I am going to put my four points into... Uh, one into precision attack. I mean three, so it's one and one yeah. into initiative reaction. Okay, let me just roll for a light guard first. Let me check. Uh, yep, they have fun things. Um, hang on, I need to... There we go, there's the magic timer thing. Um, um, apparently not. Do you want us to put the point one into it again? Uh, yeah, if you could. Just don't do, don't all do it at the same time, Rodolf. I did it. Um, okay. And then the heavy guards. I'm not going to put Montoya and whatnot in the initiative just yet. Um, yeah. Can I quit slip away for a second? It shouldn't be more than like a minute or two. Uh, yeah, sure. Um... Okay. Uh, are you selecting your token? No. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So you so you you can put yourself in for twelve or twelve point one. Well, you rolled really. twelve at first. Oh. So you use your first roll. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, I need to put an initiative for somebody who isn't on the map. Um or is on the map, but like not not where you can see. Um And I need to scroll up further. Um, and then, 
Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll do. Uh, oh, wait, I haven't done the chief. Um, uh, security, uh, guard chief, that's what he's called. Yep. Ooh, that's pretty good. How the light guards go first, I have no idea. Um, and finally, um, yeah. Mm, uh, poor thing. And he got an eight. I believe that's everybody that I need to add. I'm, I'm just not going to bother with cities. Um, okay, descending. All right, big boot. Um, do I actually know that shit's going down? Uh, not yet. All right. I will. Well, actually, yeah. um, we were kind of been taken round that way when this started off. Yeah. yeah I just finished dealing with the closed deal, so it makes sense for us to be heading back here. Yeah. So, wait, can I see where you are? Um, uh, where have you moved? Uh, roughly, can you describe? I am uh, near the where it goes down to the toilet and the storage room. Near yeah, that the top of the TG. Okay, yeah. And I'm going to hold hold my action when shooting starts. I'm going to shoot at the nearest uh, guard. Okay. Going to take out my shot. Um, right, light guards. Uh, pockets, would you like... Uh, Red Boy, would you like to evade? as one of these guys is going to take out a Shrieker. Um, what is a Shrieker? A uh, Shrieker He's gives dead. you the damage to a critical injury. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll uh, evade. If, uh, yeah, there's like... this loud kind of sonic boom, which yeah. all of you will be able to hear. Um, so go ahead, roll me your evasion. Um, damn it, okay. Other guy has a microwave, so if you want to evade that as well. Um, sure, might as well. <sighs> Same roll. Um, damn it. Okay, that's their turn. <laughs> you want to kill me so bad, but I ain't going to make it easy, hombre. <laughs> okay. Uh, security chief, Rax's shotgun. First shot, give me an evasion. Oh my god! <laughs> Someone's Red excited. Boy. Red Boy, get me the shotgun. Uh, evasion on shotgun. Yep. yep. Okay, and second shot. Oh, he's got a rate of fire two shotgun. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Not just a rate of fire shotgun, the rate of fire two shotgun. Oh, no. Okay. Yep, that is 16 damage. So I believe 5 gets through. Yep. Okay. And this is kind of my north, right? Uh, what, the security chief? Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Dice. You uh, have heard... My health action. Oh, yeah, your health action. All right. Who's the nearest? Because I said the nearest. I don't really uh, have line of sight on him, so maybe him. The, the nearest... Guy is definitely the guy by the stairs. All right. Uh, then I will shoot at him. Okay. Uh, he can't evade. So go ahead. Da, 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 da. Shotgun. Oof. Okay. Uh, two points to get through. Uh, it's armor piercing too. Arm piercing slug. Okay. Slugs, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then dice.
Um, uh, seems like we have a disturbance. <laughs> okay. I cast. All right, let's see what to do, actually. Well, I'm not going anywhere near the gunfire, so I'm going to spend my move action. But have you shot yet? I did. Okay. I also moved away from you, so you might be able to slink away. Fair enough. I'm just trying to remember the floor pan, because unfortunately you're shooting the one direction I need to be. Same, yeah, that's where I want to go to. Yeah. I'm trying to get out the guard in front. Do I look like my character? Let's see. So I'm going to run, let's see, seven in here. And basically go to this guard, because I think he's he's the nearest one I can see, yep. Yeah. And basically demand an explanation as to what on earth is going on. Get out there and get this under control. Uh, look, look, man, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, uh, did... Remain calm, remain calm. I'm trying. Get out of there and get this under control. Okay, he will do something on his turn. There we go. <laughs> um... Katya. Okay, uh, I am going to run as well, and I'm going to back away. I'm going to hear Cass making a scene up there, and I'm going to head that way too. I can't see the squares very well. I am so sorry. How far can I get? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of annoying. The squares don't really show up, despite the fact I that know. I deliberately made the squares darker. <laughs> <laughs> you have to zoom in really far to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me try that. Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you I always have the map zoomed out, so I have a commanding view. I think that's probably why. It's the bright colors as well. Like you can only sort of make them out. I guess you could set it to like yeah. neon pink or something. Is the only way we would see it on this map. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can go to the map options and change the opacity of the grid itself and crank it all the way I up. I think I did that, but I guess really? I didn't oh. crank it up enough. Uh, but I have to do that. That's that's something that only I yeah. can do. Okay, okay. Okay, anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm going to head that way too because I'm angling to try and still <laughs> somehow make the heist happen and get upstairs. So I'm going to uh, go as far as I can this way. And uh, can I get all the way in there? <sighs> I'm just um, struggling to see these lines. What's I'm your sorry. movement? At uh, six, so I can go twelve, and then if I run, yeah, if you go twelve, you can get beside me or just behind. Perfect. Once you're behind it. Yeah, because I want to get up in there, and yeah, yeah uh, hands on my hips. Why? Why isn't anyone doing anything about this? What is going on? People could get hurt. <laughs> okay, red boy. I'm grabbing this security chief by the fucking head. <laughs> okay, give me brawling. Jesus. Um. Yeah, he's grabbed. Uh, he surely is. Uh, and then I'm going to use um, my uh, movement... Uh, I want to move into the stairwell, and I want to like make him take up the space uh, as I drag him with me. Roadblock. Uh, <laughs> how are you I getting think... past the other people? Oh yeah, I guess you can move. I'm, I'm dragging this yeah. guy. I'm making my own way out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, right, so that's your turn. You can feel the stairs on your own, to be honest. I don't yeah. think you need any help. Okay, right. So, um, I need yeah, to go into the... I have the radio on kind of the whole time as I'm, uh, as I'm dictating to this guy. Um, <laughs> I want to say, uh, uh, mate, you made a very bad decision. Uh, tell me, uh, what's your name? Do you have any, uh, any wife, kids, someone who's going to survive you, who's going to want to know what happened to you? <laughs> I'm just really in his face about it. Yeah, he's... Uh, actually, let, let me make a concentration check for him. Um, I should remember what his concentration was from earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's still feeling pretty chill for now. He's just angry. Yeah, as, yeah. As, as, as you are doing all of this, uh, machine gun turrets are coming down from the ceiling. A hoda tank. Sorry? I said a uh, hoda tank.
Sorry, I, I didn't catch what you said. You said it very quickly. Uh, it, I, it was nothing important. It was just a little joke that we saw them a little earlier by accident. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. And then... Hang on, now where did the initiative tracker go? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that. Out. I thought it was just B. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to click on... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Um, heavy guards. Um, right. Uh, they are going to pull out their shotguns and open fire. Actually, first they're going to... Hang on. Oh, yeah, because come on the wrong layer. Um, they're going to move up. Um, and uh, Red Boy, give me two evasions. Sure, dude. Let's make it happen. 20. Yeah. Shoulder arms of... Uh, You can just throw them both at the same time with Chasho. Yeah. And then go. So give me a second one. 20 and 23. Okay, both the shots narrowly miss you. Um, nice. Okay, Carlos, how much is his move? Um, oh, Carlos, you... do this to yourself, buddy. <laughs> You don't want this smoke. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And wait, no, he can double move. Uh, and I'm just going to dump him here. He's gone inside the laundry room. Okay, what? Big boot. I am going to follow him. How much, how, much, how much is it to the door? Five squares. Yeah. Like, can you let me it? reveal that yeah. area? And it's being dumb again. Of course it is. Um... God damn it. Um... Why won't this thing work? <laughs> okay, now, now it's working. Okay, that's the laundry room. I used five, six, seven. Eight. And I'm going to take an aim shot at his head because I don't think he can dodge because he is a fixer. I hope so. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he can't dodge. All right, aim shot at the head. Uh, I'm well, going I mean, to we went from ruining the reputation to just ruining everything. No, wait, no. That hits because that has the minus eight already. I forgot. Yeah, I definitely. Okay. So, uh, wait, is that a crit? No. Okay. Lucky him. And this is armor piercing slug? Yes. So he is now at exactly half. Okay, and that's your turn. Okay, the light guards are going to... So first of all, we'll deal with the one who um, is next to you, Cass. He is going to pull out a stun baton and thwack you with it. Give me two evasions. The fucking asshole. Oh no! <laughs> Gas. What the hell? <laughs> uh, just randomly stumbled on me. That's all the excuse I need to run upstairs away from these horrible, crazy people. Where the hell is that skill hiding? I can't find it. Uh, evasion is under fighting skills, middle near the bottom. Oh, well, that's right. Next to brawling. Boom! <laughs> And a second one. Oh, good God. 
that's not totally horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> well. The good news is that these can't crit. Uh, and remember, your armor is halved against this attack. Remember, I said I'm wearing any armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I thought you were joking when you said, "Oh yeah, just go for that." Okay, and then we're going to resolve um, this guy, who, in keeping with the theme, is going to move up uh, okay. to Big Boot and stun baton you. So give me two evasions. Yeah, no. no. On, I'll roll his fumble. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I've still got two. I've still got a bunch more. Um, oh dear. What you thought I was done? <laughs> These guys are going to uh, move up. Um. And they are going to take out, um, and again, they're going to try and do the, the microwave and the shrieker on Red Boy. So give me two evasions. Oh, and that last one explodes. Actually, that, that first one fumbles. Um, so hang on. Okay, I don't think you can beat a 31 red boy. So give me a DV15 cyberware check. Uh, I thought the microwave was the first one. You said microwave. No, uh, no Shrieker is the first one. All right, sure. I just, I just said them backwards because I'm dumb. Uh, what do you need? Uh, DV15 cybertech. Yeah, cool. Okay, unless you give me four luck, I get to pick a piece of cyberware from your sheet and disable it for a minute. You do whatever you want, dude. <laughs> whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see what fun <laughs> stuff you have that I can disable. Um, actually, I'm going to... Uh, your left cyber leg. So would that be like a broken or disabled? Basically, like yeah, basically you have a dismembered leg now. Uh, sure. Because it is useless. Yeah, I'll write a note. Okay. Um, Security chief um, is going to um, attempt to break free. So uh, give me a rolling check. And he does not break free. Ten base, ten matters twenty base. Put it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have the gorilla yeah. arms, yeah. <laughs> red boy. They were invented for him. Oh, as soon as you have base twenty one. Um. No. Okay. Uh, I believe all my math is correct. I don't think it can get possibly higher than this. No, you're right. Yeah. Uh, I'm stupid. Yeah. Well, you're not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dice. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I instantly agreed with you, even though you know. <laughs> uh, where are you again? Where's right here? It's the hallway from the. Oh yeah, I see you. What do you want to do? Wait, uh, how far can you move? Okay, yeah, yeah, right. And then, Cass, you have been I'm stunned upon. I'm gonna run away screaming, get away from me, you madman, I'm under attack. I'm gonna double move. Seven, one. <laughs> Just run by screaming, help, I'm under attack, and point the guard down the hallway and run up the stairs. 
Just as exactly over the field base, this way we're running our full pace. Our hero. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I outsourced the fighting, okay? <laughs> I have done 90% of the work. You have oh. covered up the last 10%. That's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The only thing I'm afraid of is Cat trying to med take me. Hey! <laughs> hey, if she gets you in the bag, you'll be fine. Exactly. Oh, fuck no. She had me in the <laughs> shop and almost killed me. You were just difficult. Everyone else has been fine. Yeah, I, I, I got therapy from her earlier. Really. It went yeah. fine. Oh, really? Every other job I went perfectly fine. One with cat on it, and it's turned into an utter disaster. Hey, are, are you are you forgetting the one where uh the uh, the one in the lab? Because that one was definitely a disaster. You mean that one in the heavily armed lab where things went perfectly fine compared to what's going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I would have anyway, to be back in the lab. <laughs> Katya. Okay. Uh... All right, um, I, too, am trying to get upstairs, but I'm going to try to do it with a shred more dignity than other people (laughs) just did. So, (laughs) um, yeah, with all this commotion going on, she is going to run, and she's going to run in the same direction, and I'm not sure if I can get past the guard there, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm following Cass up the stairs. I'm going to run so i'm gonna go two four six eight ten twelve so i can get about that far and then you can mo- run again yeah, and you if can i run again, again i'm gonna do it one more yeah. time two four six eight twelve <laughs> just running and away she's- and she's she's <laughs> she's pretending to be all panicked and terrified and but yeah she just wants to i get thought you're gonna be more dignified Anything is more dignified than what he just did. That is very Any, true. Anything. <laughs> is the best I make this look life. good. I make it look good. <laughs> uh, give me either personal grooming or wardrobe and style to make it look good. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. I want to roll in that one too, see if I can make it look better. Though. I will Go spend ahead. You have, have a minus two modifier. I'll spend two luck. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, uh, you, uh, w- with the roll that bad, uh, oh, fuck. You, you have shot yourself. <laughs> That's the least believable like, now. theoretically, or? <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you can smell no. it. <laughs> I gotta have the nasal filters. <laughs> I did <too. laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's your your turn. <laughs> Red boy. Uh, I'm going to use my action to equip the security chief as a human shield, and I will. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, right. I'm right there. Um. Okay. <laughs> and and the whole time I'm going to say. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just going to be whispering sweet nothings in his ear, like, oh, remember, you show first, this is exactly what you wanted, wasn't it, little guy? You want to show me how big you were? <laughs> okay. These guys are going to hold an action. Um, okay. Um, heavy guards are going to move up. Um, and they are going to attempt some melee attacks on you with spiked bats. But they drop their shotguns? Yes. Perfect. So give me two evasions. uh, Four evasions, even. Jesus. Um, okay, and it did not like any of those apart from the first one, so let me retry. Apparently I can't type. Okay, yeah. You dodge all the hits. Even with the minus two, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, wait, no, he equipped him as a shield. Does that remove the minus two? That's no. That's a good question. No, okay. it does not. Did not know that. Okay. And uh, Carlos is going to pull out a heavy pistol, and he's going to take two shots at you, Big Boot. I evade. Okay. Uh, hang on, how good is he at this? Was he at half when they get minus two? Or uh, no, it... only when only when you go below half. Dagnabit. <laughs> but yeah, he misses. Okay. Oh, big mistake, buddy. <laughs> big boot. No, sorry, brother. I'm going to shoot at his head again. Okay. Roll the head. That hits. Jeez. Uh, still not a crit. Not uh, but okay, so nine, he's got nine armor this time. Okay, yeah, he is now a, a cinch below half. And now I fucked up his armor. And I'm going to yell into the... Uh... Radio, that's the word. Uh, at Big Blue. Uh, no, uh, Red Boy, are you okay there, buddy? Can help? Okay. <laughs> uh, light guards. Um, we'll start with the one on the stairs. Um, if he shoots us, I'm going to say these guys are just absolute psychopaths. <laughs> uh, no, he... Uh, um, no, he's going to uh, stun baton you. <laughs> it's fine. You only go unconscious from them. <laughs> Getting tased by the guards. I haven't even done anything yet. I was going to run away. <laughs> yeah, and look what that got. <laughs> so give me, uh, give me two evasions. And second one hits. Or less, you want to use luck. I know it. Actually, yeah, I'll use a point of luck because I'm... Uh, Hang I'm... on, wait. Are you are you below half? No, not yet. I'm one point away from him. Okay. Um... Me too. Okay, to remember, you'd actually need one. to use two points. Okay, I'm fine it's the second one's. It's a 13 against a 15. Okay, done. Okay, you just dodge out of the way of the second attack. But then we need to deal with um, the guy up with you, Big Boot, is going to pull out a shrieker right. and point it at you. I will dodge. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Try dodging that. <laughs> Give me a DV15 resist torture drugs. Uh, uh, you fail unless you spend one luck. I will spend one luck. <laughs> okay, your your ears thrum for a second, but you you squeeze on and you just uh you pass pass it by and the the ringing fades. And then we have the Big two mistake, light guards brother. here, um, who are going to hold actions. Um, and we have this guy here who's going to move one, two, three, uh, four. Let me, let me just check something real quick. Yeah, no, he, he doesn't have line of sight on cat, but actually does he, how much movement does he have? I'm genuinely wondering that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, because all, they nine, know who nine, came nine, with who. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. You guys came in together. You were hanging out together. They, uh, they, they pay attention. They're professionals. <laughs> that does make sense. That escaped my mind. Um. I just wasn't expecting to jump yeah. to fucking trying to take us out that quickly. <laughs> okay, and then it is the chief's turn. Um. Okay, he is going to do some uh, 
a little bit of martial arts on you, uh, red boy. Now, here's the thing. You cannot dodge attacks because you have a dismembered leg, effectively. Which means he um, hits automatically. Do I have a dismembered leg? Or do I have a... Um, or do I have a, a broken leg? The leg is off. useless. Um, as far as I'm concerned, that's more dismembered than broken, because you can still walk on a broken leg. Then, then I'll leave it to you, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My mistake. Okay. Right, so he is going to do two martial arts attacks. Um, does that seem like a fair ruling, guys? That a the thing that disables your cyberware would if more dismember than break? Yeah, I think the rules actually do say that if it's disabled, if it's like a cyber limb, it just functions like it dismembered. Yeah. Yeah, it okay. says that for the EMP. Cyber limbs are rendered inoperable and act as if they've been dismembered. Okay, so that is uh, 12 and 11 damage, and your armor is halved. Uh, uh, martial arts. For me then. So the first one, uh, six will get through, I think. Oh, wait, no, uh, seven will get through, uh, because your armor had already been ablated. And then the second one, um, uh, another six will get through. Let right. go of me, you bastard. <sighs> this actually fucking sucks. All right, let's see here. Hey. Oh, and he's a master martial artist. Okay, sweet. Good to know. Yeah. Okay, and dice. I can, brother. Okay, uh, hang on. I need to measure something because you've just done something that will cause some upset. Um, yeah, I was just checking that there was a wall there. But there isn't a wall to the other one. So, would you like to evade as a hail of uh, heavy SMG rounds come at you? Uh, held action. Yep. <laughs> oh, if you say this under your breath, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. The 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 two uh, the two civvies next to you are still going to be a bit uh the civvy next to you is going to be a bit freaked out, um. Yeah, he, probably even the the guy standing nearby won't um. Manage anything. Um. Okay, so what are you going to do with the rest of your turn? Okay. Uh, you want to do anything with your main action? Okay. Uh, Cass. <laughs> okay. Let's continue the theme of running. Try and put myself at the top of these stairs. <laughs> Okay, hang on, let me... Avenge me, Cap. <laughs> I need to reveal some stuff and then you can move yourself up to the top. Okay, well, I actually got rid of the initiative there, it's back again. Or see if I prompt would decide to run back down. Um... That's always the possibility. <laughs> I'll see what's at the top of the not worse, I might just shoot this guard because I'm, I'm getting tired of this. Hang on, there's there's something that I need to get rid of, there's... Apparently these didn't delete. I don't like where this is going. Hey, it's just me making things fair. <laughs> yeah. 
Where the hell's our distraction kicking in? Where's the angry nomads? Where's the- oh, oh yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> Where's my damn bodyguard? Oh, he's in the bathroom. So it's it's really round <laughs> three. So I will do two d ten. Listen, mate. If you shit in that dryer, it becomes a bathroom. <laughs> Okay. And they're still there. The guys that I tried to remove, for God's sake. So they are not there, those three guys, but the gun is there. <laughs> uh, so move yourself up. Oh, no, I think when I, when I pop up and see a gun, I'm going to keep myself right at this corner here. Uh, okay, then. It's like, okay, uh, never mind that then. Because <laughs> if I get shot by that thing, that's what see. Just... Yeah. Okay. So that's your turn. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll hold my main action just because I to shoot that guy down there. But I'll see what cat plays it out with. So what's what's the trigger for your held action? Um, if he starts advancing up on me, then I'll have, just have to shoot him. Okay. Uh, Katya. <sighs> okay. My spirits are a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little low. <laughs> I'm not admitting to anything. Okay, I am going to try to get to the top of the stairs as quickly as possible. Thanks for the cover. Okay, so move and yourself up to the top. Time. All right. Uh, so can you go... evade? Uh, I'd like to try. So give me two evasions. Two evasions. Okay, yes, I can indeed do that. Okay, one and two. Fuck. Okay. Oh no! First one hits. Alright. And it hits by three or more, so that's uh, max, that's times three damage. Okay, okay. okay. 21, average. Lo- lovely, lovely. Alright, so I've got, uh, okay, 11 points of armor, then 21, okay. 10, 10 damage. 10, alright, got it. Okay, so I'm at 30. Perfect. Uh, and can you move I yourself I... up onto the top map, please? Yeah, is it? Do I just... Oh, I see it. Yep. Scrolling up is a thing. Okay, uh, so I'm going to, I guess, position myself there. Okay. Red okay, so boy. I was hit by one and two. Okay, got ya. What the hell are, by the way, was that? The guns? Uh, yeah, the two giant turrets. Thank God I let her go first. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Chivalry <laughs> isn't dead. <laughs> Listen, I am a strong believer in feminism, and we have an equal right to be shot at. <laughs> but you have yeah, armor. so you should have got up at the same time. <laughs> there's equal rights to be shot at, and then there's one of us has armor, the other one has a tailored suit. <laughs> I like being alive, and Katya's the med tech, so I'm not taking my chances. <laughs> Also, I'm going to have to, because you said you didn't go all the way up, I'm going to move you down on the map, Cass. I'm already down because, on the map. Uh, because the two squares, the two sets of stairs, are the same set of stairs. Okay. They just have to appear on both levels. Um, because otherwise things will get messed up. <laughs> um, I was specifically trying to keep myself at a melee range, so can I be like maybe one more square up? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll say you're just out of firing range. There we go. Just bear I'm in right mind, there is a war between you and that other guard, so don't worry about him. Yeah. It's the one that's already been at me that I'm worried about. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Katya. Yes. So it's now the turn of the, the two turrets that had held, had held actions. So uh, now give me another turn. Turn. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Perfect. I completely okay. forgot. Um, so yeah, right <laughs> I on. know, I'm still here. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Can't hear you have a reprieve. For a moment. Red boy, do your thing. Yeah, what kind of armor is this uh, Master Ninja Security Chief wearing? A uh, heavy armor jack. Heavy armor jack. All right, then I'm just going to strangle him. He's going to take 14 damage. Ooh. Um, uh, is there any avenue for me to move in this stairwell, or am I just going to be stuck here until further notice? Uh, basically. All right. Uh, but yeah. 
heavy guards turn. Um, okay, they're going to go at you with spike batons again. Um, so four evasions. Uh, you just got done telling me that I'm not allowed to evade. Oh, 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 damn it! Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. This this gets very fun for me. Uh, yeah, I gotta tell you, it doesn't feel very fun for me to have all this just kind of fall on our heads, just throwing it out there. Yeah, Sorry. I did not use enough grenades. If we had dropped in four frags by now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, if we came, like, if we didn't try to actually use subterfuge, this would have been better. Like, if we just came in here to destroy the building, uh, yeah, like, we were yeah. trying not to, we would have done better. I actually wow. agree with you. Next time, let's just come in with the dragon's breath, the bloody SWAT helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yep. no, no, no more. We're just gonna start leveling buildings, dude. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I don't think. Yeah, time. so uh, ten. Can you crunch all those numbers for me. Uh, just let me know. Don't okay. they? Uh... Yeah. So minus six. Um, minus six. Um. And then your armor effectively goes down. So then uh, minus 10 and um, your, armor, your armor pings that last one. Uh, lucky you. Uh, yeah, I, I really feel like I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use your human shield on melee attacks. Is that a thing? No, uh, the the game specifically disallows it, which is okay. why they started holding actions and busting out their melee batons uh, within the three seconds of me grabbing this guy. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Uh, this guy is going to take an action to whip out his agent. Um. And hit a big red button on it. Okay, two rounds. Oh, and I should have rolled, and I'll, and I'll now roll the three d10 rolls that I have owed you guys. Um, so I should have rolled earlier. Okay. Um, whatever interference you are hoping for still hasn't arrived. Big boot. I am gonna grab. Uh... Carlos. Okay, so give me brawling. He's at minus two. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be that with a with a four in brawling. Yeah, yeah, you've got him grabbed. I will tell him, call your fuckers off, or I'm gonna squeeze the life out of you, brother. It's fucking trauma team. I'm hurt. Call everybody off. Okay, well, resolve that on his turn. <laughs> okay. Um, light guards here are not going to do anything. Um, okay, so we'll start with the guard next to Dice. He's going to move one, two, three, four. Still doesn't have line of sight on anybody, so he's going to move five. Six, but he obviously can't take an action. Um, this guy is going to move up and stun baton you, Cass. <clears throat> so two evasions, and oh, oh you got a held action. Yep. So um, first of all, he gets the uh, warning shot that kicks in. <laughs> Boom! Get back. <laughs> Yeah. That roll. <laughs> That's the definitely looks like a warning shot. It's nowhere near him. <laughs> Second one. Ah, oh, good God. Yep, that hits. Well, let's see if it takes a hint. Not with my dice rolling tonight. Um, two evasions. <laughs> luckily for him, he has already been uh, uh been slightly damaged apparently. Um. So he takes three damage. <laughs> and what kind of ball are you using? Just a standard one. Okay. I All right. And <laughs> okay. Uh, I think the first one succeeds. 
Yep. <laughs> There's a fumble. Yeah, for me, I mean, for me, I mean, it succeeds. Yeah, you fumble okay. too on the first one. Probably. Yeah, you two fumbles. Know. Oh, oh shit, sorry, yeah. Um... <laughs> Oh. Well, you guys just kind of wail on each other are uh, kind of it's a bit difficult fighting on stairs yep. like thickly carpeted <laughs> but yeah you, you somehow manage to not be hit there we go now big boot you are going to be stun batoned right I'm going to evade minus two on both of those Oh, and um, I for uh, Katya, I'm gonna need to do two turrets on you because I forgot them. Oh, oh, did you? <laughs> Damn! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna mention it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wasn't Wait, gonna. Uh, say. One of those, one of those, actually, big boot. Before one of those will hit unless you spend one luck. Uh, no, I need to spend three luck because I'm minus two. Uh, oh, yeah. Play. So, um, you want to spend it? No. <clears throat> Okay. Nine damage. Remember, armor is halved. Oh. Then it, I think it goes. Uh, yeah, armor. so three gets through. Now, Katya, give me two evasions. All right. And I am, I am willing to spend a luck if I need to. Okay. There's okay. One. And there's two... Okay, right. one of those hits by two, unless you want to spend some luck. Yeah, I, I would like to, yeah. Yeah, so okay. it seems like two bullets are going to catch you in the arm, but you pull your arm away, okay. and they, okay. they slam into the banister. Perfect. Okay, and then... Where did the previous one hit me, by the way? Uh... Um, it hit you in, like, the kidney. Uh, it was Ooh. three bullets, okay. one in the left kidney, okay. one in the right kidney, third one in the uh, stomach. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, I think that's all of the light guards. Um, security chief is going to try and break free again. Uh, could you, uh, Red Boy, could you give me a brawling? Uh, sure. Uh, if you want to just say he gets out, we can do that too. Um, 29? No, 22. Uh, sorry, rather, 27. Yeah. Um... Nope, he's still there. Um, I think I've been unfair enough with you guys if, if before I just start saying, yeah, he breaks free. Um, okay, dice. Save me dice, you're my only hope. Wow. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me check his evasion. I don't think it's particularly good. Oh. Um. Okay, so martial arts? I uh, know you first. Okay, um, second one hits. And half armor. What kind of martial arts are you using? Ooh. Okay, 11 damage and he... 7 gets through. Okay. Just a question, do we get a d10 roll this round as well? Yes, at the end of the round. Got ya. Um... Cass. Okay, so um, I'm still getting out of this melee, so um, what I want to do is um, reach into my pocket and chuck a smoke grenade up the stairs in front of me. <laughs> okay, draw on the upstairs map where you want the grenade to land. This is going to be the fun part because I'm really shit with these tools. So I would be aiming since I'm on this corner here, right? I was, I you are roughly... 
here. So I'd be aiming, and what size is the actual squares for these things again? Uh, five by five. Okay, well, I'll be, oh God, I'm just making a mess at this stage. <laughs> I'd be aiming roughly for the area in between these two. The idea being that it would give me cover. And if it was a five by five. Yeah. Would... Okay, I'm just terrible with this roll 20 thing. Point being that I would um, aim from, just going to draw where the center should be, that'd be easier. So I'll try and center yeah. it here. Well, it's a five by five and you've. Yeah, I'm, so... I'm showing you the target location basically. Yeah, but that would be for a four by four. You need to actually put a square rather than in between squares. I got you. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's finally an NCO game. So yeah, give yeah. me give me athletics. An NCO game with the smoke grenades. <laughs> hey, start small always. Um, I think I'm the only person that's probably loaded up entirely on non-lethal ordnance, and I'll spend a point or two of luck if I need to. Uh, it'll be DV sixteen. You only spend four luck. You know what, fine, I'm going to let my chances. There's not that many places that can bounce in there. Uh, okay, so move it two down, one left. Okay. Okay, so then I will I will do the honours of drawing out the... Um, <laughs> yes. Me and Roll20 so. did not get along, it seems. But hopefully, at the very least, that'll give Katia some smoke to hide underneath. <laughs> and then when I come running up, that'll probably give me some cover as well. And then... Okay, this is the area covered by the smoke grenade. So I was here. Hang on, that did not work. Two, three. Oh, wait, it did. It's just horrible colours. <laughs> um... I apologize. So, how? where are you moving? Ah, I see. If I'm remembering rightly from the fourth plan, I'm going to be able to hang left soon and hopefully in a door. That's a basic okay. plan, Emily. Katya. Okay. Um, I'm up here. Can I see anything in this hallway? Are there doorways? Is there anything? Because she would just. Uh, want well, to there's now a bunch of smoke. But you oh, that's true. <laughs> we did get to see Same. the floor plan beforehand, remember? Yeah. There is, uh, yeah, there is talking forward. coming from this room and from this room. I couldn't see the ping. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Yeah, I yeah, couldn't it's see in the, the shadows. To the left? <laughs> to the, the left, uh, quite far to the left and down, and quite close to the left and up. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Uh, hang on. I, will, I will reveal the corridor because I should do okay. that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, She's just gonna uh, make a, a run for something here in a second. Oh, oh. dear. Okay, okay. All right. Gosh, that was nice knowing you. <laughs> you want to talk? <laughs> At least I have armor. <laughs> Listen, I was going for the let's get this without it turning into a bloody mask. Yeah, you know, I thought... <laughs> yeah, you guys need to fall back. That's not going to work. I don't think it's going to happen unless we have better luck with the top hallway. Listen, we've still got the smoke cover. If we dip into that room, down yeah, to like the true. south. Down to the south, yeah. No, you still need, still you have to need make to come the... back. Yeah, but we have no way to communicate really with each other in the heat of all this. So yeah, without have radio no communicators, way. that's true. We all do. At this stage, we're kind of committed, though. I think if we always get down and hold the room. There's hopefully going to be no turrets in the bedroom. Because we still need to make the heist part happen, which is pretty important, at least to us up here. And I think, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, fuck. I don't want to do that. Alright, she's going to just try to dip into that room because she's getting shot at, there's smoke, she's panicking, that's what she would do. She doesn't really have the presence of mind to do anything else, so I'm going to try to go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I'm going to try to run into this lower, what looks like an opening. 
Yeah. Yeah. We got the floor plan uh, originally, so we do know that there's a bedroom or something there. So are you going into the left-hand room or the right-hand room? The left, like the bottom, like the below me, south. Okay, yeah. Um, yep, okay. Just one second while I... Yeah. Um, so sort of, without even being able to see, it just sort of looks like it could be a doorway, so she's going to give it a shot. Yep, it is a doorway. Perfect. Um... Okay, and great. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that was two, four, six, eight, and twelve. I'm gonna. I'm, so I'm gonna just run and use my full movement to uh, run in here, and I'm gonna try to call the cast to to follow me in. Two, four, six, eight. Twelve. Yeah, I'm just gonna run inside the room here. And maybe we can at least barricade ourselves in or figure out something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. There's a fancy rug in here. Maybe we can hide underneath the rug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to go through that door to the to your right or Is that a can I? Yeah, it's a bathroom. Hang on, I need to remove a token that shouldn't be there. Oh, I couldn't first. see it. Okay, okay. If you check the notes, you have a floor plan. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yep, I see it. Got it. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I will, yeah. Imagine that there's clothes on that railing. Okay. Okay, yep, that's my turn then. Okay, red boy, I did not forget you this time. How could we forget you, red boy? Uh, give me a second. Okay. All right, my turn. Um, I can't do anything, so I'm just going to choke the guy again for another fourteen. Okay. Yeah, he he's starting. He's starting to look pretty rough. Uh, I mean, as he's. You you can feel his breathing getting, or his attempts at breathing getting more and more ragged. Uh, is he below half health? Just out of curiosity. Um, might, he is two it, above it might half. Might help me someday. All right, that's my turn. Uh, okay. Right. Um. Okay. Uh, smoke be damned. Uh, I think two turrets. Will attempt to shoot you, but obviously they've got a minus four. I think the third one, actually, no, the third one can get a shot, but it'll also be at a minus four. So, can you dodge, Cass? No, we've got a reflex of six. <laughs> okay. Don't expect any of these to hit, but you know. Incoming crits? Or not. <laughs> oh, wow. There, there might be some sort of god. <laughs> Yeah. yeah look at Katya steps three squares away and the effect goes away. Now we know. Yeah. Hey, great. <laughs> Hang on, though. Restraining order. Katya must always stand three squares from cats at all times. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'll remember that when you need help. Yeah, please do. Call one of the other med techs. <laughs> Yeah, there's a wall I'm in the way. The you lucky, here, bud. You lucky <laughs> guys. Um, okay, and then, um, right, heavy guards. Um, okay, heavy guards are gonna switch to stun batons on you, a uh, red boy. Um. Yep, they do have stun batons. Okay, right, let me... Good news for me is that this is not a white armor, so my mouse will be quicker. Uh, minus three. Um, 
minus eight, um, minus two, minus five. Okay. And then this heavy guard here is going to move one, two, three, um, four. And I don't think he can see Cartier through the smoke in the doorway, so he's going to continue five, six, seven, eight. Um, okay, um, Carlos is going to break down in tears and beg for mercy. <laughs> Remember that I called him, told him to call his goons off, or I'm going to choke okay. him. Okay, right. Uh, he is me. going to, yeah, um, if you leave, I'll call them off. We will leave, but you get them to drop their fucking weapons and leave my guys alone. Okay, you, you go straight out and I'll call them off. Right. Okay. So that's his turn. I'm going to roll the 1d10. Yep, no, help is still not on the way. Um, <laughs> big bird. I am what you do now decides the fate of this entire encounter. I'm going to walk with him to the edge, to this hallway. Let go I'm of me! I'm going to yell, everybody drop your fucking weapons or your boss dies. Um, they will drop their weapons. I'm going to radio in everybody, come back here. Hold your position! Wait until they've left! Okay, is that your turn? Yes. Okay. Um, guards are going to um, pull back. Security chief, let go of me, I'll let you live. Uh, I'll wait till my turn to resolve that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, dice. No, go ahead. I miss effects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Cass. <laughs> Okay, well, first of all, I'm getting away from the bloody turret. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> Roll 20 really hates my thing. Every time I move the mouse, the scroll goes with it. Yeah, it... Mine's been doing that too. Yeah, it's just not very good, is it? <laughs> no. Okay, um, can, can somebody who can maybe actually drag a token move me like in close to Katia? I'm going to quickly refresh the window. I can't even see where you are. I, I've... Uh, it's dragging me somewhere to the far top of the map. Okay, I see. There we go. I think it's working now. Okay, yep. So it's behaving for now. Yep, there you are. So I'll move in because I'm going to get him with Katia. I'm going to look that guy straight in the face and say, we're not leaving without our escorts. Give him just a very stern look. I'm trying to basically stop okay. listening. Okay. Katia. Send up Red Boy. Okay. Red boy needs some medical attention, cat. 
Uh, he doesn't really. It's it, he's disabled for a minute. It's not permanent. Yeah, but okay. HP I'm too. also. Uh, yeah, I have seven HP, HP, so I yeah, I do need medical attention. Thank you. <laughs> okay. But, uh, you'll be fine. Is there? I'll what be is fine this long guy? enough to kill this motherfucker. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> There is uh, no way I can get to him anyway. There's like, there's no way there's I can. Stand do... still. We can move freely now. So what is this guy who's confronting uh, Cass and I saying then? Like, is he gonna? Is he stopping me from leaving the room? No, no. You stay here. We're not leaving without an escort. Our escort, Red Boy. We don't trust him. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna demand that this guy. Uh, bring him to us immediately. Oh, did we lose somebody? Whoops. Uh, we sh- might- oh, we did, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's dropped again back. For okay, now, right. are we... Can we, like, move out of combat roles because things have calmed down? Yeah, you, you guys can move out of combat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So, uh, what do people want to do? All right. Uh, we'd like... Uh, what we were trying to do, I think, before everything was uh, we were trying to demand that uh, Red Boy be brought up to us. Okay, that that can definitely be arranged. I will move. Uh, GM, because uh, we, I we've like done nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> By arranged, I mean the security chief will sling you over his shoulder and kind of heave as he carries you. Uh, yeah, that's a not happening because I'm still alive, and b because I'm I want to pacify him. I've been choking him for two rounds, and I want to uh, put him to sleep and carry him. He is my hostage. I am not his. Okay, he is now unconscious. But you are at seven HP, and the next people to act in the initiative are the heavy guards with stun batons. I've I've already accepted that you're going to try to uh, finish me off. <laughs> I'm trying to take somebody with no, me. No, no, no. I'm not letting him go, and I'm definitely not letting him carry me. Okay, right. Uh, he is now unconscious. We'll resolve that. So we're back in initiative. Um. This could have gone fine. It could have gone fine. It really couldn't have, dude. Like, I, I'm, I feel like I got intentionally fucked on this one. It kind of sucks. So, uh, you had, you if you want to get, just come yeah, it, uh, just, it just say you kill me and I'll get off the call. <laughs> I'm, I'm over it, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you. Because you, because that's what you want. <laughs> Um, and I am far and too then, evil. Then, then tell me what happens, because with my agency, I'm going to put him unconscious. Okay, you put him unconscious. Uh, and they are going to put you unconscious. Yeah, cool. Now, they are going to carry you. Let's, let's be honest, I think drag is a more likely outcome. Yeah, drag, fine, whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll move your tokens into your. Uh, uh, and we're back out of initiative because nobody else wants to fight. Nobody. <laughs> For now. Oh, actually, sorry. You should be at one HP. Sorry. Um. So you are unconscious for one minute. Okay, I will drag you here. You can be picked up from here as far as everyone else is concerned. So, yeah. Okay, the down red boy. Yep. Uh, okay. The security guards are going to stop you from doing that. Then They don't want you guys going upstairs. You guys want to go back into initiative? No, I'm explaining that. Yeah. We need to... We have two people upstairs, and I don't trust you guys to not shoot them in the back. 
before we regroup. We're going upstairs. Unless, and I can't squeeze a little on his neck, this is going to happen. Um, okay, sorry. I'm still moving the guards over. Um, give me a face down with um, basically the all of the guards. <laughs> face down <laughs> of the room. Uh, hold so on, 1d10 on plus down. cool plus reputation. Uh, um, Just whatever you're doing, try and make it take a lot of time. Okay, that's a fumble. So roll me, roll me a d10. Okay, so you got a total of two. This guy got a total of ten. You can either back down or take a minus two on all actions against the guards until you defeat them. Sure. I will not back down. Okay, then. We are back into initiative. I'm going to say that was your turn. So it is now the turn of the light guards. I would like to request several rolls for the fact that they had to drag Big Boot in, and that situation had to happen first. Yeah, I will, I will say an, a 3d10 rolls. Yeah, no, still not coming. I, some, I, some reason I'm rolling really high for these. Why can't you roll like this when you know it's good for me? <laughs> okay. Light guards turns. Um, right, Big Boot, where are you? I'm in the middle of the hallway. Okay. Um, are you still grappling? Yeah. Okay, so these guys are gonna. First of all, I need to move this. Um. Okay, so you are going to be hit by um, a Shrieker and a Microwaver. So give me two evasions. Remember, you have minus two. Ooh, <laughs> second one's a crit. Okay, I need a DV-15 resist torture drugs and then a DV-15 cyber attack. Okay. Right. Uh, what I cyber way do you have? Uh, how much do I need to beat that uh, cyber attack? Five, uh, five. I will spend the remaining five of my luck on that. Okay, so yeah, you are, you are unaffected by this. Um, okay, the chief is unconscious. Um, so actually I'll remove him from the initiative. Dice. <laughs> I don't suppose Katya gave me some TLC during all this. Sorry? I don't suppose Katya could have given me some TLC during all of this. Get my hit points up a little bit. Um, <laughs> I, uh, what, what are they right now? I can. They're 18. <laughs> are you... Okay. Are, are, I, I, I will say that up. you would have had the chance to give him a speed heal. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I just need to be, make it very clear. Are you uh, asking me for heals? Oh, you are cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Black Katia, may I have some good <laughs> lucky heels? Yes, you may. <laughs> if you if you want in the distance, you can hear the sound of my pride dying. I'll savor that. It's not sure. in the distance, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that's one, and I still have two speed heels left. So. He can only have one per day. Right, right. Yep. So I'll. So you regain body plus we'll will. Body plus well, my god, I could yes. regain something lore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, it's stationary, but you still can, can miss, so give me a roll to hit. That hits. Uh, I'm just going to say it's uh, disabled. That's handy. Okay. Right. Um, Cass. <laughs> All right. I'm going to see if I can try and stall this one out a lot, but I'm going to jump back and be like, yo, this has nothing to do with us. Um, let's see. I guess I'd be for switching. <laughs> We're only persuasion. Uh, is there hey, any amount can... of luck that make that succeed? Well, we'll see how well he rolls. Uh, five luck will make it succeed. Uh, what does corporate concap give you for luck? It's like plus one, or doesn't it? Plus one. I, I can actually make that succeed. Okay, he he is going to back down. Whoa. Only him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Cathy like, Jesus Christ, what? <laughs> Anything else you want to do on your turn? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stall for time because I, we are not okay. in a scenario to take out this guy. Cathy. All right. Uh, so what what is going on with this guy? Like, what's he doing right now? Just so I know how to react. Biding his time. He's not, he's not really doing anything in particular. He's just fidgeting with his shotgun. Okay, all right. Are we in? And we're in initiative. Okay, all right. <sighs> okay, sorry. I'm just con considering what I can and can't do here. Uh, is there any? Okay, if I make a move for the door. Will the guy, uh, how will he react? I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, he I'm won't going stop to you. make a move for the door. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, now that Cass is stabilized due to my excellent skills, um, I'm going to motion to him and see if we can get out get out the door, uh, at least into this main room. Get out get out of this little area. Yeah, well, he's already taken his turn. Oh, so that's I'll true. So I, I will. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, don't um, mean it yeah. to the guard, Anna. We're we playing very nicely right now. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to tell the guard that I, I, I need some air, and I'm going to step out step out of the room and try to get out of his line of sight. Okay. Red boy, you are unconscious. Um, these guys are going to... Um, wait, actually... Did they just go very quiet, or is everyone just not talking? <laughs> Um, okay, good. It's not a technical issue then. <laughs> right. Uh, big boot. Mm hmm. Turret. I made. Okay, no. Can't take it back. Yep. Do you have three luck? No, I spent that on my luck. Okay, then. <laughs> How the actual f <laughs> This is not going well for you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's see, how much armor do you have? I did the math already. I had 11. Okay, yeah. So yeah, uh, one board gets you in the shoulder, one in like the upper rib cage, and one in the arm. Okay, um, and that will, um, that'll be everything for them. Heavy guards turns. Um, this guy is going to move to get a better shot. Um, and then these two guys are again going to shoot you with their shotguns. 
the shotguns they dropped on the floor? That they have since picked up. Okay. Because they went right past where the shotguns were. Right, so how many shots? Two. Two evasions. Lucky. Uh, okay, uh, and th this, at this point, that trauma team arrives. Um, so I will deal with them in a second, but first let me roll a d10. Carlos isn't going to do anything. Um, hang on, I need to go to the GM layer. And I'm just going to put these guys in initiative zero from now on. Okay. Yep. I mean, if he's got the plan, he's got the plan. <laughs> Okay, I think they're all like move four. That's what we'll say because I cannot be bothered at the moment. <laughs> um, wait, no, I don't want to move the AV. Okay, and that's their turns. Um, let me sort by um, descending. Okay, there we go. Big boot. I will equip Carlos as a human shield and w walk here. Or, well, you know, use my move yeah. bit here. <laughs> move upstairs through the turrets and let the turrets finish him off. <laughs> Uh, sorry, where have you moved? Uh, to the start of the stairs, behind the corner. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's your turn. Yeah, and Carlos is my human uh, shield. Light guard. Um, this guy, this guy who's on the stairs is going to swing at you with a stun baton. Uh, who? Me? Um, nice. Uh, you, big boot. Okay. Two times? Uh, yep. And remember, you have minus two yes. against all the guards. So... One hit. Uh, yep. Okay, and remember, armor is halved. I have five armor in that case, so that is... But it does not ablate armor. I should have clarified that. Oh, no, I gave plus six. Uh, minus 11. Okay, and then um, these guys don't really have anything to do. Oh wait, wouldn't he? Oh yeah, melee. Never mind. Um. Okay. Wait, dice. You seem to have moved in the initiative, but oh well. Um. I think that's when I re, re reshuffled the initiative. It moved you for some reason. Um, I, I caught you. Okay. The card is there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Uh, if I tr <sighs> fuck. Okay. Um, I'm torn right now. Um. Are the guns outside based on movement? And they do still have uh, ammunition left, I believe, correct? They're, they're either based on a demon, uh, based on ID, ID badges, or based on mm. a human operator. 
Okay, all right. Um, shit. Just hold tight. Yeah, we want yeah, to save the plane, remember? Yeah, I think so. Um, if I look around the room, is there anything, uh, like, of any interest to me as far as, like, just anything useful, potential cover, um, items, values, or anything I can see? I mean, there's, there's that giant bearskin rug. <laughs> yes, there is that. Yes. Uh, which is the, oh, should I have so much empty space? What am I going to do, bearskin rug? Yeah. Um, um, there's uh, two wardrobes and like a um, like a chest of drawers with a mirror on top. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think I would like to try and... Uh, because we just have this guard floating around in here um c could i could i um attempt to subdue the guard it would you'd need to uh you need to do a, a grapple and then you need to choke him out for three rounds i could i could i just tie him up by by any chance just so he doesn't <laughs> cause us problems could i just you, tie him you up? would first need to grapple him yeah you, you'd need to get him in a situation where you could tie him up you know yeah Unless you've got him feeling particularly willing about it <laughs> you could all, you could all, you could always try and put him in the back cuz as soon as he goes in he'll be unconscious. <laughs> I didn't want this to become a thing. He's <laughs> <laughs> probably huh? choke him out of evil. Fuck me. I have rope. I'm trying to go to other options yes, before. Yes, before you can tie him up with rope you need to grapple him and you know. Fucker. I know. All right. <laughs> Just try and stall a little bit longer for now until we can work out something better. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Okay. Um... He's not, we're not. Like I said, we're, we're really counting on this stage on that distraction thing arriving. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk over to the guard and I'm going to try to engage him in conversation. He seems a bit tense. Really? No. <laughs> Offer him a bad surprise. <laughs> You look tense, okay. let me rub your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to make it that kind of session. I mean... <laughs> okay. She, she is going to try to uh, put, put on her, her best apologetic face here. G and, give and me a her. conversation roll. Perfect, okay. I'm going to ask him if there's anything he can do to help us get out of this. Conversation is rolled... Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, you you settle his nerves a bit, but he he's still he's gone from constantly twitching with his shotgun to occasionally twitching with his shotgun. Okay. Cash joins in as well. It's like okay, okay. this was honestly the guy. Spe speaking of Cass, it is now your turn. Yeah, so okay. he joins in. Like, okay. fine, I'll step out of this room. Just sort of lean up casually against the wall. Like <laughs> join in the conversation with Katya. Like honestly, man. I get how you're feeling. I was standing downstairs, and I think I know one of your guys absolutely swinging at me. Look at how I'm dressed. You think I came here for a fight? Yeah, yeah. Bloody ridiculous, honestly. What were your bosses thinking? Did they tell you to go straight to swinging? What? Oh, oh those guys are a bunch of pussies with the stun batons. Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's a reason that there's a reason they're just the basic guards. <laughs> Not the ones you want to put downstairs, though, man. I think how everyone else saw it. You just started attacking the customers. Oh, we'll, we'll deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> I should roughly take off my round anyway. Hopefully bang is another time for another luck roll. Okay. Dice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I rolled a hit. It's disabled. Hasn't he already moved? The next person is movement. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. So the two heavy guards downstairs are going to pursue Big Boot. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And doop. Okay. Um, Taurus don't have any targets. Okay. Carlos is going to just um, not do much. Nope, still not low enough. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be a three or lower. <laughs> oh, good God. By the time we all get escorted out, then it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have to run back up all the stairs. <laughs> yeah, you can try. Um, okay, trauma team. Um, I'm just going to basically teleport these guys downstairs because <laughs> there's five of them. What do you mean that didn't work? Oh, and of course I need to select them again. If I say we hold off for a little bit longer, Red Boy might wake up. Red Boy's going to wake up in about 15 rounds, uh, and the other guy will wake up first. <laughs> uh, GM, uh, do you need me here, or can I just, like, how long are we going to be doing this, uh, just out of curiosity? <laughs> Hopefully not too much longer. Um, hang on, I'm having a really hard time. No, I'm just not going to bother the trauma team, because honestly, it's too difficult. Um, big bird. Okay, uh, one, two, three, move to get up. So I'm going to do that. That's not okay. the run. I'm just scrolling. Would get up there and then six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, I'm going to use my action to sprint right next to Katya. Yell at her. Stick some good stuff in me, brother. <laughs> okay. And I still have the... Uh, so it is going to be one And I assume this is the smoke here? This yes. Box? This yeah, smoke should have probably cleared by now. <laughs> uh, no, it's still got about 10 rounds to go. <laughs> Fantastic, then. Oof, oof, okay. Okay. Right, that's your turn. Okay. Guards, um, I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> okay. Katya. Okay. Actually, at this uh, at this point, if you guys, if if all you guys are going to do is leave, then we don't need to be in an initiative. To be fair, I was actually trying to stall it long enough that the distraction hopefully one day came and we could hopefully just grab and run. Okay. On the on the one hand, that could happen. On the other hand, I am exhausted, <laughs> uh, stressed out, and we have a person who wants to leave. Got it, call um, it a bust in. Sorry? We can always call it a bust in. At least on reputation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, all of you are going to gain quite a bit of fame for this. <laughs> um, just not the, not the good kind. Um, okay, so you guys, we'll, we'll just say you guys leave. Um, you guys not get paid. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Oh man, that was kind of rough. At least I was able to 
make a few eddies uh, selling all those clothes. Man, but like my team got decimated. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to try to be a little bit more um, careful next time. Had a butt had to jump out of a second floor window to get out of there. All right, well, see you next time. Peace.